Today on Mob Rules, we talk about underwear, also doges, and also uh, priests, space priests with brides, but mostly doges. Yeah, mostly doges and underwear. All that, a little bit of first strike, and, and not much else on, on Mob, Mob Rules. Rules. Nailed it. Only took you fifty. <laughs> <laughs> were tasty mm, they were good yeah good. yeah welcome to mob rules yeah. episode 55 uh, 55 something sure like something 50, like that 50 something mid 50s uh, more than two oh, we're having a problem with a this thousand. It, it kind of, oh yeah i could spend time to look it up but <laughs> <laughs> we could look it up we're gonna see like <laughs> that a, would take a lot it really effort. like oh i feel like we want to hit that switch behind you real quick oh, what is the switch is it the vibrators yeah it is oh, okay. and also the uh, fan the overhead oh, fan I that i could you. just hear the whoop, whoop, oh, whoop, yeah. whoop, 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 oh that was actually me sorry that was our <laughs> full metal jacket intro. That, was, <laughs> that was our dubstep intro i of course am <laughs> yeah, john right. joined as always by the the strap throw ted the strap throw <laughs> ted and, and and uh penultimately by <laughs> the, the southern fried the geek. southern fried geek <laughs> yes phil like, yeah, if you me. leave me now uh, you take away a third of this table <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah of course uh yep. phil exciting news glacial geek is relocating mm-hmm. and being the the glacial geek i guess still downstairs still the glacial because yeah, branding yeah. you know you've yeah. worked very hard in Pe- that people know me yeah <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least three <laughs> you're kind three of a big deal know me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal to very few people. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess we'll get that out of the way real quick. Phil, <laughs> Phil is like uh, all my listener followers. Yeah. I'm like, oh, the same. We're gonna watch like, like <laughs> we're gonna watch like download figures and be like, oh, okay, and then like drop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, so yeah, Phil's gonna be moving to uh, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, he has obviously watched way too much Walking Dead. Yeah, mm. uh, and kind of wants to get prepared for the upcoming apocalypse. Well, I mean, I figure if if once once they start coming, then I'm that's the place to be right georgia yeah georgia's the place to be is this so. imagine there's alaska because well because you asked for vampire no wait that was if you wanted to die no, 30 no, days no. of night yes vampires like the... it up here okay yeah yeah oh, oh yeah. but zombies uh what the resident evil movies the 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 safe place was alaska yeah, cause oh, density yeah cause they would was freeze so yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. there's the there's the population dead seed also in the winter time yeah they would freeze and they would get freezer oh. burn I although i guess like the uh what is it like siberia would be the way to go because there's like one person for 80 million miles yeah but but then you would only be that one person. And you'd be <laughs> yeah, them out, so. like, <laughs> it's like you know fifty fifty there. <laughs> you're the only person there, but you're also no. There's no zombies. There, there's no internet to jerk off yeah. to. Like, yeah, I mean, like really, that. what do you do? You, yeah, you, seriously. I feel like a groundhog. What, what's and, the point of living then? <laughs> in the time of a zombie I, apocalypse, I, I, I take you groundhog be to be my lovely wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, but uh, zombies <clears throat> will smell in the humid swamp that is Savannah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's, it's such a humid swamp. Is there, I've never. <laughs> it's, it's very. No, humid. I guess I have been to it's Georgia. Very swampy. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's very. Well, I guess swamp is the wrong term. Uh, muggy. No, yeah, it's uh, it's very swampy, swampy there too. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like right next to Florida, there. right? So it's a little north a of Florida. Of yeah, just north of Florida. Because you got that. Okay, yeah. You get, okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's down there. It's down there. Mm-hmm. Live there for about a year and so a half. Do they so. share the swamp uh, kind of thing, or it, is it like one contiguous swamp, or is it like no? I think it's different does swamps. It break it I believe, up? yeah, because yeah. we're because we're uh, we have a freshwater low swamp, low low. No. Uh, we have a methane <laughs> swamp, yeah, exactly. We have an yeah. old person uh, <laughs> Ben Gay swamp, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's it's not the Everglades. It's just uh, yeah. just kind of like lowland swampiness there. Okay. So weird, yeah. But I mean, I guess this is a good time at anywhere to do like a American Idol competition for. So you wanted to be in a third rate podcast. <laughs> <of each> <laughs> <party>. <laughs> Really? No, no. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, I don't remember this one. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. God damn. No, uh, we did But uh, anyway, on to, to, to regular broadcasting, yes. I guess. Ted, yeah. what, what have you been up to recently? Oh, my God. Recently? The vast majority of it has been unhobby related. So I, oh, me too. I, I can't wait for this. I, <laughs> I did break down and start painting my uh, boxers. So that was really nice. So you gotta gotta keep the hobby I skills. I saw up that there. picture. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Were, were you literally nice painting straight boxers? Lines. I wasn't. I was actually. I think I saw that because uh, I was like, the blues are close, but they don't match. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta mix them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, you didn't you see got, the palette, man. You only I, saw I, the uh, <laughs> the pots. I think I saw uh, what is it? Adam's uh, post. Yeah. Um, and I think like you asking like what we had done and like my immediate like response is like well naturally I've been painting uh, plaid on underwear. <laughs> <laughs> 
So who as need, one does. <laughs> <laughs> who needs hallucinogens when you have an artist mind? Uh, yeah, I was just random. <laughs> yeah. But then I like quickly like, all right, I think I have a pair of underwear that matches this color. All right, I gotta go <laughs> find them. But, yeah. No, I've been working on a huge display board. I think I talked a little bit about this oh, yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a five foot by two foot ish uh, board of this village that they're relocating, and we're just about done. Unfortunately, my downstairs neighbors um, turned in. It just oh my god, yeah. it just like went downhill, and it's so much has changed every single day. Something brand new happened from like. The cops getting called to the police showing up oh, and having geez. to fingerprint the bathroom downstairs because oh. somebody might have broken in and peed all over the wife's stuff. Oh. And well, like, that's that's the guy's stuff now because he peed on it. <laughs> well, unfortunately, he left it there, so it became oh. my stuff. <laughs> So I had to clean up the human pee, oh. and they had taken like a bag of like baby diapers. It was like hundreds of diapers, and ripped it open and dumped it into the tub, and then peed on top of it. And some of these di- like the turds oh, in there were like oh. literally months old. There's mold on them. Oh. Yeah, it was disgusting. So it's so, so Warhammer. <laughs> so so the display board yeah. is nice, um, and it's it's coming along. I'm hoping to have it done by tomorrow. Um, and then the. Uh, um, I think like the last time we talked, I was just about done with the Dairy Dio, right? Yep. So I wrapped mm-hmm. that up, mm-hmm. yep. got a $25 cool. tip from Tyson. So thank nice. you, Tyson. Oh, nice. Um, and he, super cool. He, uh, he was like, yo, man, uh, you want to do another one for me? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, I have it down to a template in my head. So nice. it's much easier. So. Men- mental template. Yeah. yeah. It's always like the first one. It's like the hardest. Like this display board. I yeah. think it would have been a lot faster if I knew like, so one person told me to work with, because it was 3D printed. Like the whole thing was yeah, like 3D yeah, printed yeah. in yeah. sections. And then like they glued it together um but when i got it it was like you know there's big ridges and like they'd use really uh thick filament and you know you can't just paint that otherwise you know it just looks like a topo map yeah Um, because it's all like all like really like layered right yeah and uh so you know i had to fill it in and like i think uh uh, buddy thomas was like yeah just use uh filler primer so like okay i went through about four cans of it and like did that still not working and then i use like um it's i think it's called like power grab or whatever it's basically like elmer's school glue times 10 okay and so i try (laughs) elmer's college glue (laughs) 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 when you you gotta fix your bong and (laughs) you something will stick so i tried that like that was kind of working but then eventually like I was like, like in the back of my head, I was like, dude, why don't you just use filler? Like, just use, just use fucking plaster. And like, no, no, no. Like, this is this weird material, blah, blah, blah. And eventually, it was like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to go get some. So I got the kind that's like, what do they say? You know, there's different qualities. Like, one was kind of like spongy ish yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah. like somewhat semi flexible. It wasn't silicone. But so then I got in there. And each house is like, you know, a quarter, no, maybe an eighth the size of like a um, Monopoly piece. Oh, so they're itty bitty little houses. Geez. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so, like, I'm trying to get my big fat ogre fingers in there. And like, hey, uh, j- uh, son, uh, with your itty bitty <laughs> tiny little fingers, I'll pay you twenty bucks if you like spread some shit around the building. So, so he did. You don't have to take out the garbage if. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you don't have to clean up it. like the hundred uh, dirty diapers downstairs <laughs> in the tub that's covered in human p- piss <laughs> if. If you do this, he's, he's going to love his childhood. Yeah, <laughs> like dad, I can't wait to be a man. So I don't have to do this. <laughs> so so anyway, we did that. Now we like got the airbrush out, doing some like water effects and stuff like that. Cool. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and then I think the last thing, um, I got to give a quick shout out to uh, uh, One Hour a Night, um, the, uh, oh, the Facebook, Facebook group. group. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Alexander Good, who's one of the admin there. Um, I, every once in a while, like I, you know, I was spamming the projects I'm working on. And so I had this like librarian, um, iron, or, or oh, the, the bike, right? Yeah. The yeah, iron yeah, yeah. librarian guy. Yeah, that was cool. And, um, he was like, yo, you should put that in the competition. There's like a one month competition. Mm-hmm. And he had like all these things. It mostly is for like the dark Imperium stuff. So you had like, you know, competition for best primaries power, uh, competition for best primaris unit, mm-hmm. uh, best, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then they think they had like, you know, the, uh, 40 K generic mm-hmm. uh, or 40k related uh, conversion and then i think they had like something else so he was like yeah you, you gotta you gotta submit this i'm like oh, okay yeah whatever it's unpainted blah 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 so and of course like there's the whole like cleaning up diapers that <laughs> i just kind of slipped my mind it was like on the 11th hour like you know i was like the whole time like yeah i should probably take better pictures of that other than like the me holding the thing with my yeah hand, you know like <laughs> i think i'd even like botched like I think I painted him and then I accidentally like touched his forehead and I didn't realize it with like a little bit of glaze. And so he has like a liver spot. So he's like the Gorbachev nice. version of librarian. <laughs> or maybe it's kind of like that's where the psychic. I mean, I know you have the brain box on the that's, back. Yeah. yeah. But... That's where he keeps killing himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that exploding right there. <laughs> that's, like, fuck that's, that again. That's where the double ones come from. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Westworld style. It just keeps being killed and reborn <laughs> new every day. <laughs> so I'll paint him and maybe he won't kill himself. <laughs> so, um, so I submitted that. You know, like some of the pictures, and then I submitted the, the making of. 
uh, a couple shots of that just to kind of <laughs> like Prove show that, that you did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I could paint people without liver it. spots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, but they announced it. Like Isaac, uh, like messaged me. He's like, "Yo, man, you bet you won uh, best uh, conversion." Like, nice. Holy shit! Like there was some stiff competition. There was like this really amazing. Uh, is it a Death Guard Hellbrood in there? They had like really awesome like fat boy tits and everything. Nice. Like, yeah, yeah. It was really well done. Like water effects base. So he's like going through the swamp and everything. He's like. Yeah, I got some dirt that I PVA glued to some shit. Nice. Like, Don't tell them. They'll but, take their award away. <laughs> <laughs> so, But I, I messaged him. And he was like, oh, yeah, it was hands down. But also, Isaac uh, won the best uh, Death Guard unit. Hey, cool. Yeah. There so you go. Team Alaska wrapping there you go. it with uh, two <laughs> nice. awards there. So, but it was really good. It was a really cool competition. So, uh, cool. That made my day. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, that's, it that's, made that's all good. the difference worth it. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's been me. That's, Very that's cool. rad. Phil? Um, I've been... I've been painting and building a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, did I had I done the the cult Lehman Russ last time? No, no I yeah. hadn't even heard about this cult Lehman Russ. So I built uh, built and painted a cult Lehman Russ, which was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, managed to find a way to magnetize all of the main turrets. Uh, the sponsors oh, wow. are. It turns out are way. So you're easier really to productive like, when you don't have a job. Yeah, trying to do it. That's what it's, uh, it's. It's trying to get a lot of this you get, stuff. You're gonna keep also, this like no job thing going. Yeah, on. yeah. So I've been. <laughs> it's good for your hobby. Life. Those. Yeah, seriously. For the Gene Sealer cult, it was like all my Gene Sealer cults. I had like zero like heavy strength shooting. So I was like, oh. well, this is probably gonna get myself killed if I don't do more of this. So I was like, let's yeah. make a Lehman Russ. There we go. Sounds good. <laughs> so I managed to, to to magnetize all of the. Uh, the the turret guns which is really cool mm-hmm. and then the the sponsors and stuff they're just like uh friction fit which is yeah. cool. i thought i would have to magnetize it but no they're friction fit which is mm-hmm. awesome so i've got those i did that which was kind of cool um what else have i been doing i um i've been building i built a, the the reavers mm-hmm. and i started to paint uh, on yeah. those guys they look really really cool yeah. uh, they're snap fit but they're they're put they're uh yeah like just like snap fit but mm-hmm. you can very easily if you want to slightly change the way they are like change yeah. the head angle and the arm length yeah. angle it's not that hard to kind of like do it so you have a little bit more of a thing because it comes in like a pack of three that are different so if you have mm-hmm. two of them you would have two and two <clears throat> uh two two and two so i just did a little bit of changing like that so i kept that going which is uh which is pretty cool so i've been working on those i built and magnetized a um uh an armored sentinel for the gene sealer club okay that i'm working on we'll so, that. yeah i put that together finished up uh, building that today so I've got to I've got to paint those up, but uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing: playing lots and lots of games, lots and lots and lots oh, of games. Cool. So and uh, yeah, getting ready. There's a tournament, I guess. When I guess if you're listening to this when it comes out tomorrow. So I'm oh be, uh, shit, this, yeah. This oh man, I gotta find out if I have Jackson this weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah this weekend. Oh no, I'll be flooring this weekend. That's what I'll be doing. Oh god damn it, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yay, real life. Yeah, <laughs> stupid tenants. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that this weekend and uh yeah i think i've got a pretty decent cool. list i'm pretty excited you do gene sealer cold or marine no marine okay. and dark angels i've got a, I've, yeah. I've been working on a list that i've been putting together that i think uh i think it should work pretty well i've, I've mm-hmm. tried it and as long as i can <clears throat> manage to keep myself from uh from supercharging Azrael's uh uh plasma gun i should be i should be okay is that what takes them out it. i've done that every I've, time I've, I've i've done it three or four Why times since eight the time. because Just to get the two i'm up, looking there two it's two like he, he hits on a two and he re-rolls yeah. Because that's he's Azrael. So I'm like, what are the odds that I'm going to oh, roll a one yeah. and then re-roll it into a one? Oh, Apparently, right. if you're me, I'm sorry, very but... good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Or me. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. I think it's actually in your presence. Yeah, you know, I think exactly. it's like your presence does this. Yeah, it's true. Although you you were the one that re-rolled the six into a six oh. to kill your librarian. Oh. <laughs> so the, the dice yeah. knew. <laughs> the dice knew what they wanted. He was meant to die. Yeah, he was meant to die. <laughs> so I feel like as long as I can keep <clears throat> myself from blowing him up, I should, mm-hmm. I should it, my list should do oh, okay. pretty decent. It's got a good, good mix of... Uh, you know, massive so you go with of all the last cannons. And stuff, I've got or? a bunch of last cannons, and I've got a bunch of deck. I've got a land raider, which is the first what? time in a long Whoa. time that a land raider I feel like is is semi competitive. So. <laughs> so, so nobody's running ironclads. I take it. What's up? Yeah, nobody's running ironclads. Well, I'm running a venerable, so I've got my venerable. Okay, so you're right not now. going against ironclads. That's, that's true. That's yeah, the, <laughs> the bane of the day. <laughs> land raider. Yeah, uh, that's tr- <laughs> that's true. I love it that Taz <laughs> trying to pump early download numbers by secretly leaking Phil's entire list <laughs> the day before. <laughs> but yeah, so venerable yeah. dread and a. Uh, Land Raider. I mean, I mean what, what's going in that Land Raider? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. He's going to be empty. <laughs> so, Eric Richards, if you're yeah. looking to win this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need pregame yeah, advice. Yeah. <laughs> Man, just yeah. a sweet Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but yeah, so did, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of building lists. I've, 
I've had a um, not a very good win uh, ratio lately oh. <laughs> with my games, but you know, it is what it is. It's it's because it's of like a new edition. Yeah, everybody else just happens that. to be fluking into exactly. winning against you. Exactly. <laughs> Whereas, like, it. your brain is getting in the way. Yeah, of, exactly. That your must vast, be knowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> vast knowledge of the system. You're like, You're sky hammer. <laughs> sky hammer. <laughs> yeah, You're I, I keep trying it, to though. keep everything off the table, and I don't know what's going uh, on. Keep everything off the table. Okay, you lose. Shit. Again. Again. Every time. Third time today. <laughs> exactly so but yeah i've been really i've been enjoying eighth edition it's been mm. it's been fun it goes smooth and now sweet now we can put that eighth edition hashtag in there <laughs> yes. score Ooh, yeah welcome. keep, keep those down got an extra thousand don't say i don't do anything yeah. <laughs> and uh, but yeah so that's kind of yeah <laughs> That's what I've been up to. So. Nice. Oh, John? Man. I've been connecting with nature. I went camping for a week. What, yeah. girl? <laughs> Are you okay? Where'd you go? <laughs> uh, I went to a place called Aklutna Lake. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Uh, I didn't really camp, though. I was in an RV. So oh, okay. Was, really that's, that's was it like a rental? Or like oh, no. My, uh, a couple of friends of ours uh, okay. have an RV. Nice. So we, we shared for the weekend. <laughs> it's a bad time. I'm like, I should buy a mattress because I slept way better in that mattress than in my home bed. Nice. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which was terrible. But yeah, it's beautiful out there. Um, it got me like really uh, going like be like hmm like okay this is super pristine and nice and we're all unaware of stuff what if like 17 drop pods just started like <laughs> coming down what? and like really fucking up like oh, kind of the thing like hey and, like, I have no idea what's going on okay but we're gonna destroy your world such a so, so that was what you were doing while you were camping so I was like well imagine that pods. story well like yeah. imagine that little short story of yeah. just like you know like blissfully unaware then all of a sudden like boom 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 oh, wow. hey uh, you guys are all heretic dicks suddenly wait, drop pods wait what I'm just sitting at yeah. a lake <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that's what I did. Also, yeah, part of me was like really judgmental about that in my head, and like, God, what a weirdo loser. And then I was thinking about like all the times like Sierra had like turned to me in bed while like while we're naked about to get it on. She's like, "What color are you thinking?" I'm thinking like gray because i think if i cut the orc's head at this angle i might be able to add an extra biotic <laughs> like no that's as bad if not uh, worse never mind john you're doing by, great surrounded <laughs> by nerds surrounded <laughs> by nerds holy cow but yeah so no uh, i've had like a, a bunch of good ideas actually I, I don't know um i had some time off of work and obviously then that, that's when nice. the fun stuff starts to flow yeah uh, I also uh, built some of those reavers myself. Nice. Uh, the, the Capri wearing <laughs> Marines of the 41st Millennium. Uh-huh. Um, they just look so cool. They I mean, really like, do. They really do. It's like, I don't know if it's just I've been mean, playing 40K too long, but, you know, if you put a skull mask on something, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> nine times out of ten, I'm going to think it's yeah. the best thing ever. Why do you think I've got so many damn chaplains? <laughs> yeah. So so that comes out this week, though, right? Like the, the, the space box. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw oh, the reavers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the aggressors <clears throat> and the reavers. And they're not not terribly expensive. I thought they're what, like fifty bucks no, or whatever. 40, 50 bucks. Like I mean, that for, for, no, normally that's yeah. bad, but usually there's like a hike every time they bring out something new. So yeah. the fact that um, it's ten for mm-hmm. almost as much as a tactical squad. Yeah. Well, and they're a nice troop choice as well. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, they look rad. I mean, honestly, yeah. they're like, what kind of stuff? I don't care. They have a skull face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Half skull face. Yep. Exactly. And, and a bat rope. And, and a, a bat rope. And a bat, oh yeah. god, that thing is so cool. Um, it's like I would break that. <laughs> yeah. Instantly. I, I, I hope it like slots in. It's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, it looks super cool. But yeah, so so that's about all the modeling I've, I've got done. But cool. I did pre-order our, our Space Marine Codex coming out. Nice. And yeah. this Wolf Tempter Dreadnought that's coming out this, this oh Saturday as well. because that, that also looks Because I was like, sweet. oh man, that looks really rad. Oh, I'm super psyched for that. And then they posted that, like, one picture of it where the chest plate opens up. Oh, and yeah. It's like regular Dreadnought. Was <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. I want seven of you now. It's like, <laughs> it's like Dreadnought nesting dolls. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, the, 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 the miniature designer for it was on the Warhammer live Tom, stream. Oh, yeah. Tom yeah. Walton. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He was uh, on the live stream and he was like talking. Everything is like fully posable. Uh, so like the Fingers legs, the yeah, the, well, yeah, probably. I okay. mean, if you don't give it cool ass giant guns, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like you can move the feet. So I'm like, oh man, if I can just put his feet up on a dead body yeah. or like a bug, I have a bunch of uh, turned carapaces and stuff that they can go nice. there. So I'm so excited for that. But yeah, this this next couple of weeks is going to drain did, me. So did he hard do for the it. um the uh, the Mechanicum robots? I don't know because it kind of feels like there's a little bit of crossover there. I mean, not like yeah, entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it definitely I feels think like it's from what I've seen, thing, but... he he's mostly doing vehicles. Okay, yeah, because he also did. He is also the one that did the repulsor. Yeah. tank, the new one that's coming out. I think I think he said like oh, okay. he worked with uh, Jess Goodwin because yeah. Jess is still kind of the. The, the the kind of the guiding force of the, yeah. the range, but yeah, yeah. I, I think I messaged um, um, uh, Pete about the uh, uh, about the aggressors and like all that stuff, and I asked like if that was from that old sketch that we saw in Jess Goodwin's book, like. I don't know, 10, 15 years ago or whatever, because there was like that one uh, Marine that had like these big assault cannons on his shoulder, like twin, yeah. one on each shoulder. And he was like, yeah, probably. 
<laughs> and that's kind of canon that it absolutely was. Yeah. Yeah. Probably is yes. Yeah. Probably is yes. So so I have all that pre order. I have a repulsive pre ordered as nice. well. Nice. Because I can't wait to cool. throw like ten plasma guns yeah. at the field in a repulsor. Oh, wow. Um and I do want more of the Capri Marines, but yeah. I don't I, I was either that or the giant swole ass dreadnought. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I want a giant swole ass dreadnought. Yeah. So. Hashtag, hashtag swole. Hashtag swole. It's a swole tempter. Yeah. Uh, the, swole uh. tempter. <laughs> that's, I, I think you'll I find like I that. tweeted that out. Yes. Like, I yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swole tempter. I'm kind of excited about like how many people are like jumping on the uh, hashtag swole. Like, hashtag hashtag yeah, it's good. Oh, that's yeah. Dope. Thank you. Also, real men don't tweet. So, y'all fucking nerds. <laughs> I got a what reply. What do you do? <laughs> well, see, I got a reply from, I remember we were ragging on that Australian guy whose girlfriend said, it's like, oh, he listens, he does all this stuff. I was like, we'll get his own Twitter. And she's like, real man, don't tweet. And I'm like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> damn. Oh. Damn. Yeah. I, I hope that was just fun sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the not head. that like my manhood has ever been. <laughs> I, mean, I guess like it, it kind of comes I in base kind, my, I base my manhood on what other people yeah. on the internet. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Thank you for all jumping on the the hashtag swole. Yeah, yeah that's that's cool. uh, it's it's super weird to see like, like one throwaway joke from two years ago about Imperial Knight cock plates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is uh, still going. Two yeah, years, two years I later, stop saying I'm going to make that shirt and just, make <laughs> it. just, just, just do it. Yeah. All right. Hopefully you'll have summers <laughs> off soon. Uh, but that is that's that's all I'd be up to. Okay. So yeah, I think that's we'll dope. take a quick break. Oh, ro- okay. oh, oh no, uh, no, go, no, I was going to say, do, do we want to talk about the? Uh, did you guys play the first strike and all that stuff? Or no? no? Okay. Oh, I did not buy first oh. strike. But we'll we'll take a little break, come okay. back, and you can tell us about your 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 Ooh. your first first strike. It, it'd be a five minute section. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, be able, we'll be able to pad our time with extra ads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, dog, what's up? It's the M to the A to the G-O-S. Here to surprise your boy, Jerry Annis. <laughs> he has no idea. We about to pimp his night. Hi, I'm Jerry. I'm 22 years old, and my night is a little worse for wear. It got handed down through several generations of my family. Uh, you see, we've been protecting the citizens of this world for gosh centuries now. It's going to get a lot harder to keep the village folks safe now, though we did not outdated the gun. I mean, I don't even have a carapace gun. It's, it's tough. Worst of all, my father was very angry at my mother during the body ceremony, so she left him for a funeral. Those, those emotions remain. At my own bonding, I felt pretty confused by the feelings I was having, and to be honest with you, I can't look at my mother the same way again. We used to be close, but now that I has uh, ruined. Yo, it's your boy, the Megas. Imperial Might, is this real? Holy shit. Yo, 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 it's real, Jerry. Now give me your keys. We're going to pimp your night. Let's go to West Sector Customs. It's actually narrowly bonded to me. Let's bring West Sector Customs here. All right, yo. So, check it. Our boy Jerry here needs a fly knight so he can keep on representing his family and protecting the small folk from Xenos invasion, all right? So, weapons, what you got, priest? So, what Jerry got here is a stock 33 Millennium Knight Paladin with a broken heavy stubble and a battle can that battle cannot. What I'm going to do is drop the Reaper Chain Sword low to the ground so the wind and small folks go cruising by and know who's the boss. Nice. Then we're going to take the heavy stubble out and we're going to put in a holographic projector that constantly projects the image of his moms in front of the night at all times and get your boys rage up. All the better to smite the enemies of the Emperor with. Exactly. And as for the battle cannon, we got to modify it so instead of firing bullets, it's going to fire beats. 36,000 decibels of sick beats dropping out that speaker. Word. All right. What are we doing with that machine spirit IT guy? Uh, Jerry's night is slow to respond. It hasn't had an update in years, so we're going to uh, do what we do best. Preach it. Uh, turn it off and then on again. Uh, should speed up the reaction time. All right, boy. Paint, what are we doing? Jerry's night represents the color of the house and family, and it's important that we respect the traditions and heritage. I asked Paint, what are we doing? Light like green. Sounds tight, right? Let's get to work. Yo, Jerry, we've been working hard on your night, and he is ready. Are you? So ready. We have an incoming orc invasion. I must protect my world. All right. Here is the curtain, and here is your night. What have you done? 
Oh, the Reaper's so low. Oh, my hair's bleeding. Why is it green? Well, we out, yo. You officially been pent. Ah. Why is my mother 30 feet tall in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> welcome back welcome back or you know i guess generic intro in case <laughs> awful stuff happened <laughs> um, such as the track that we recorded didn't record yeah i mean it, it could happen you know, uh, it's, it's life so it'd probably be marty stouffer's wild america intro that we used a year ago that hopefully nobody remembers because <laughs> i liked it and wanted to use it oh man <laughs> that was so popular with with some people and it, Did it was like say anything no it was like i, I think it was super divisive was, was it yeah i don't remember that oh. at all i know the robo voice was divisive oh yes and by divisive i mean everybody hated it yeah they were Except like just me. pre-record stuff guys come on now it's yeah. not hard <laughs> I think the Marty Stouffer's, I, I, I don't know. I had fun with that. That was actually not Robo Voice. Hey, you, you, make, you make stuff for you. That's, yeah. that's, that's I, how the I get paid appropriately. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, when they start paying you, that's when, right. uh, that's when they can ex- make expectations. You know, there's all, exactly. all these people like sitting there with their headphones on like, God, if I could pay them just to be better, I would. I'd <laughs> shut up and be better already. It's not my fault you won't take my money. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, I will start a Pantheon for you, you motherfucker. Get I a expect in like a week we'll get like a, an envelope with like a dollar bill in it. It's like, be better, guys. <laughs> yeah. just, just be get better. good like, scrubs. Well, <laughs> shit, now we have to. If, if they won't send us the, uh, the was it the applicator sticks, like, oh. why would they even send us money? Oh. <laughs> Those are free yeah, because I, I think I'd rather have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> uh, so first strike. Okay. <laughs> um, part of kind of the recent releases GW's done, we've, yeah. we've had our big uh, main box, our hundred sixty dollar box, aimed at uh-huh. people like us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Love to what blow was money. Value in there, like two hundred and seventy or three hundred and seventy something bucks, like that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was like three, four hundred, or at or least it seemed like it was that much until like the uh, the get started boxes came out. And you're like, oh, they're only fifteen dollars for three, so it <laughs> changes the price point on a lot of. So, things. so I think the the original eighth edition box was like eighty bucks for the rule book, say about fifty for ten intercessors, roughly. Okay. Um, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Roughly about say <laughs> thirty for each of the the five man squads. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so wait, shit, what's that? A couple special characters. A couple uh, special characters who right. are now thirty each, let's, apparently. Let's Holy crap! Real quick. So you had what seventy, or how much for the book? So eighty for the book. Eighty for the book, and then fifty for the tax, 50 squads. For the tax squads. Uh, probably fifty again for the the, the flyers, the uh-huh. jumpies. And then about thirty, say thirty-five is I think 30, what the librarians have we're going for. So so about yeah. and it's like so two, two, seventy so, two special characters plus yeah. hundred and five plus the lieutenants. Yep, so oh, about one hundred and five okay. for those three. Okay, um, or four. Shit, even. we're looking at two eighty-five. Yeah, just it's, for the it's about four fifty. Yeah, in, in okay. that box, it's a really good deal. Heck of a good deal. Um, but again, it was the big rule book. It was mm-hmm. compl- a complicated quote unquote rule set in there, aimed at kind of uh, oh, more yeah. than the the match play system here. Uh, uh, we also got. Mm-hmm. The the uh, open play box coming out th- this last couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in friendly, uh, friendly store friendly cardboard displays. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had and one of those was first strike. Yeah. Ted, which you you gave right. a go of there. Um. Yeah. So we we got I got uh, Jackson and I got that and I nice. uh, uh, did a um, kind of review video of it that you can find on uh, YouTube dot com. Yeah, uh, I haven't you, heard of this. Have you been before. to YouTube? <laughs> YouTube? Wait, the tubes of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's my tubes. Wait, what about my tubes? Where <laughs> do I find my tubes? My fallopian I don't tubes. Want, I don't want your tubes. I want my tubes. <laughs> I don't get what a plumbing website has to do with this, <laughs> but sure. Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, you guys also went through the models, so they're, they're, you, know, you know kind of what they're looking like. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. The rules were kind of neat. Like, it was a yep. neat, like, um, I think there's like six missions and you know they kind of like walk you through each one like oh, okay. you know here's like how to shoot basically it was like the whole mission was like you know you're a uh, reaver shooting up some pox walkers next mm-hmm. one is like how to do hand to hand so it's like you're re- actually i think the first one was like you have three intercessors whatever the walking yeah, yeah, guys yeah, yeah, are yeah. the primary guys and the next one you have like one reaver and it has to go into hand to hand with the uh um the pox walkers and and so they just kind of like take you step by step through it so nice. uh we got a few into there and that's like with my nine-year-old and uh, so would was he able to? Yeah, no, he was. He, he was, was able to follow around. That's I mean, awesome. you really are just like focusing on like one thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's perfect, uh, and it's still kind of fun. So that yeah, sounds awesome. slowly building yeah. up. Yeah, because it comes with a double sided gaming mat. It comes with scenery pieces, the a book of rules that you need. On, and this obviously is yeah. kind of like the big thick rule book, right? Yeah. It's just kind of like the base 
the base rules for the game. Yeah, and they give you the rules like as you need them. So instead yeah. of like having to like read through all the rules, it was like, okay, this is the first mission. This is how assault works. Oh, okay, cool. cool. So you go through and like it's the assault rules, not just like you know the dumbed down version of and Jake rolled a three. You know, all yeah, they yeah, have yeah, those yeah, two, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> cool. And then um, so then so they go through all the different missions as yeah. you go through there. Mm-hmm. Are they? Do they seem like? trying to get into like competitive is it like balance missions no no okay <laughs> so space marines have a better time of it i'm guessing yeah. right? okay. okay but it's not like it, it wasn't you know just like hands down like the the nurgle guy is gonna be bored you know like yeah i think the first one like i thought i had it in the power uh, like uh, in the pocket because there's like two units of three pl- uh, pox walkers and you just have to like walk off the like have um, one guy walk off two different sides mm-hmm. not one guy walk up both but like yeah. you had to have a guy yeah, yeah. walk off two different sides but you had uh a marine in each of those corners mm-hmm. so three three of them so like you know i was like advancing 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 and like uh, like oh man i got this and like no reavers <laughs> <laughs> suddenly reavers yeah. <laughs> like, oh you can throw grenades oh shit right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i think he, he kind of curb stomped me so nice. yeah so it was more diapers for him nice <laughs> <laughs> So, and, and how are the, how's the the play mat? Was it what kind of it's like okay. material is it? It's just it's just paper. Mm. Oh, it's paper. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, this is paper, but I mean, it's like it was kind of cool. I think like some of that stuff, like you had the box, you know, yeah, that yeah, came yeah, with, yeah. it looked oh, like, the, was like the, the cargo containers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like slightly photoshopped versions of photos of the thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, so it's you know they clean it up and like they uh, they kind of I think they turn up the luminosity or the, down at the clarity just yeah. to kind of like give it kind of almost like a cartoony kind of like yeah. surreal nice. feel, but not entirely. Yeah. Um, but you know, some of the things, the one thing that I noticed, and like I think we kind of talked about this in the past, was um, you know, like the modern GW. It didn't seem like it was this way when I was younger, but like they'll leave mold lines now, or they'll leave like things not glued entirely, and like in the pictures. Yeah, have yeah, you noticed oh, that? sure. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you if you look through your codexes, um, you'll usually I mean you can find like something where like a Lehman Russ wasn't you know or the uh, Land Raider wasn't glued perfectly, so there's like a little gap in between the the fender and like the side panel or huh. something like that. Mm-hmm. And with this, like they had you know on the box like. You know, there's a guy photoshopping this, so it's not like they missed it. You know, it's not yeah. like they were, well, fuck it, it's good enough. Like, you have Photoshop, you can make it good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but they're taking these pictures and they're like, they're, they're modifying it, you know. So, um, but I think like one of the edges hadn't been glued fully or whatever. Like, it hadn't like mm-hmm. been sealed. So there's like a little crack and it doesn't look like it's like a, oh, it's battle damage crack. It's like, it's a model or mistake kind of a thing. But part of me was kind of, and I think this is, I think maybe you and I had this conversation, mm-hmm. John, where maybe it's like the uh, like an intentional humbling because they're phenomenal painters. Yes. Like the oh, quality yeah. is really yeah. increased. So it's not like somebody's missing these things. I yeah. believe there was kind of an internal um, decision <clears throat> like years ago to, to move away from kind of like the late 90s, early 2000s heavy metal style where you have yeah. phenomenal painters painting phenomenally because what was happening was you would have people like, it would almost discourage you because yeah. you would get this box. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to get this. Well, shit, that looks amazing. And mine looks yeah. like a piece of shit. Whereas now everything is pretty attainable. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, you do get kind of the, yeah. the super advanced stuff and they still do like super advanced, great techniques. Yeah. yeah like the, especially on the character models and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a level of attainability. To yeah. It. They, they, right. they, they use methods that you can use yeah. and they, mm-hmm. they do it expertly yeah. but they do methods that you can use sort of like you know like the duncan methods like everything yeah. he shows you is stuff that you can do mm-hmm. it's not like beyond the pale of, of the and person like, coming to the to the hobby when i it. did my incarn it was like solely using the duncan method yep. and i was like i could look at that and then i can look at the incarn that was painted and put on the box and be like okay i can still tell obviously the one in the box is way better yeah. but this is similar yeah. it's yeah. similar enough for me to, to think that you know this is an okay thing to put out mm-hmm. yeah it just it gets to a point where you're like oh fuck you know it's another you know beautiful painted miniature <laughs> that i'm never going to obtain to so i think that, and especially yeah. on something like a, a box aimed at maybe a younger crowd or newer yeah. market because mm-hmm. this, well, this box is, is like been going on through codexes too yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, just, yeah to, but i mean this one especially when you're like a box is like 40 bucks retail i mean uh, that's like you know video game money mm-hmm. um and it's a great that's way exactly to, and you, you put it with your son point. you know yeah, what yeah. i mean so so that, like that's that's the kind of thing where they're trying to hook these new people in and you know you got to make it attainable mm-hmm. you know it's like sure there's going to be people who go out and buy dark souls because they know it's a hard game and they want to try and beat it <sighs> but you know that's going to put off like other members so yeah. so you got to have you these... don't have casual gamers <laughs> right so, that up. so this uh-huh. is aimed at the more casual gamer then you've got to have those imperfections there i mean it's, yeah. i think it's generally super planned like that yeah 
And I, I think it's kind of the concept. Like, there's an internal battle, I think, in, like, my head. Like, part of me is, like, you know, I remember, like, the old Duncan videos, and they mm-hmm. were a lot more intricate. There's a lot more technique and stuff like that. Of course, they were, like, half hour each, and there was, like, six of them to paint a model. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, there is that part of me that's like, oh, why don't you do it that way? You know, like, I'm watching a video to learn how to do, like, glowing effects, and you're just putting a glaze on there. Ah! But then there also is that, like, r- yeah. a reminder that, like, all right, this isn't aimed at Ted. <laughs> I was going to say, this is not for you, Ted. <laughs> and I, so I, I do appreciate that. And I yeah. think, like, you know, when I saw that imperfection, like, you know, like there is like that little like salty internet troll that's like, what? Not? But like immediately I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, they left the thing that I fully glued. Yeah. I mean, I really want to see just like a fully unleashed Duncan. Like here's my painting tutorial about how to do this power oh, sword. Shit. And it's like a 40 minute tutorial on how to do it with like a sword. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, fuck you, internet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like roads out. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Drop the yeah. mic. If you see him like on, on Twitter and stuff, like when he shares like some of his own personal. Oh yeah. Like his oh, yeah. nights are beautiful. Yeah, you see that stuff uh-huh. and you're like, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, can do this, son. He's real good. <laughs> or it was like, we get a tutorial on that, and I was like, the internet doesn't have enough gigabits. <laughs> son, you can't teach talent. <laughs> but I mean, it's super good. And honestly, yeah. I wasn't like super aware of the first strike box. Like when we started talking about talking about it, I like I looked in the store and I saw like the eighty dollar box, which is fuck, it's called second strike or something. Yeah. I, I forget <laughs> what exactly it's called. Fear no, it was oh, or, no, 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 no fear, no, no yeah, fear no, or no, something fear. like yeah, where yeah. it's essentially all the miniatures from the the starter box, but no rule book. Okay, yeah. um, and I'm like eighty bucks, but like forty bucks. Like yeah, my well, especially with my kids getting into that mm-hmm. everything like that. I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck, I'll throw thirty two. Sure, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, I'm looking at spending like sixty bucks in a stupid swole time through dreadnought. <laughs> you know, I can throw down on that there, and I think like I said that's is the perfect kind of niche they're yeah. going into. Amazing, there. stupid. Yeah, yeah, amazing, <laughs> and they're, stupid. And they're, and they're doing a really good job of uh, of kind of working towards getting that newer audience because they've come up with a new system. People are talking about how the rules are are more streamlined, so it's easier for people to get into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're coming out with 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 product that's easily attainable for people coming into new. So you know what I mean? Like yeah. you throw it down and. And, you know, for 40 bucks, you've got now you've got two forces that can play against each other mm-hmm. and you get an idea of how the game goes. You know what I mean? And then you expand from there. Uh-huh. But they're also coming out with cool things like the Swole Tempter with, for like, <laughs> for you know. Thank you. For yeah, exactly. For, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright 2017. Yeah. Dude, 2017. Uh, I, see, I see Tom Walton like, bring one of those out. Like, <laughs> Swole Tempter. Swole Tempter. Oh, oh, oops. I mean, oh, I was like, ah. <laughs> please well, a dollar people, please yeah, exactly. <laughs> listeners I, I ask for very little of you <laughs> times, but if you could make swole tempter a thing that yeah, would make me very uh, very happy yeah. I think I have an extra night cock piece <laughs> <laughs> just like put it on a contemporary bam boom um, uh, like a little fur coming oh, out dude, <laughs> there's my pose right there it's going to be split legged just <laughs> hanging that cock <laughs> out swole tempter <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're coming out with like all these new cool and like awesome models yeah. for the, you know, the veteran players so they, they yeah. can, they, they have these new cool toys that you want to buy and play. So it seems like they're doing a pretty good job with this eighth edition rollout to, yeah. to be able to Cheers. attract new players and keep the, the old players wanting to yeah. keep playing. Especially with like my son, like we like, as we're working on models and stuff now, he sees me working on my cool <laughs> little interceptor airplane. He's mm-hmm. like, Oh, I want one of those. I'm a space wolves can't have those. And, ah. al- and also it's 70 bucks. So, <laughs> Probably not, but then I'm like, oh, it's 40 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, Jackson do that? was Eldar. He's like, I want a Wraith Knight. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. <laughs> you realize that's like the only Christmas present you're getting this year, right? If you get something and you're going to break it within a day. <laughs> worth it <laughs> <laughs> well not anymore maybe like a year ago it would have been yeah yeah my poor rhythm doesn't see much play anymore yeah. he makes up rules anyway so it's, <laughs> right. it's as powerful as his nice. friends will allow it be <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty powerful <laughs> which is why they don't play with them yeah. um, <laughs> the other kind of neat thing like i think is like so the design of the box itself where, where it's like you have those cool like uh cardboard munitorium containers yeah. oh yeah yeah but they're That's actually the like a part box. of the box yeah oh, right yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so so that's super rad they're like kind of getting Sorry, I'm in. laughing in my head like oh why are you acting like you didn't know you're surprised and john said that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's, it's the uh, what really yes yeah, it's, it's the bottom part of the box right because it's like is oh, that what it no is? it's like the insert so yeah. kind of the thing that keeps everything oh, separated oh, so, well, so you can pull like it out box so, you pull out like a so like there's the um the flappy one you know like the kind with the flaps mm-hmm. uh-huh. you know like you oh, know it's yes, yes, box yes, right yes, yes, yes. so then inside there there's like a slide out oh, and then that's okay, the okay. Minotaur sort of like the start collecting like but i don't know if you guys got any of the start collecting ones it's like yeah yeah it's yeah like a slide out part that comes it's yeah it's like the bottom of the old box well so like i think the start collecting is like almost like a dvd 
cover thing where you just slide the box yeah. out right without the flaps yeah, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. they no. actually had the flaps yeah they actually had the okay flaps. then yeah it was like, like yeah it was like a slide thing mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah I think, like, I, think, I think we're on the same page okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like i said super red <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's super cool. And then also the the data sheets in there as well. I thought oh, it was super super cool. You're right. Okay, that's right. You bought that. You got the same set, right? So or we got I, I got the Reavers, which I think is the yeah. same ones that. Came Does that with come yours. with the data sheets in them? The little like cards? No, no, it doesn't. Oh, okay. This first strike box because again we're aimed really at cool. simplicity. We're mm-hmm. aimed at kind of. You I f- would love it if they did that with all the units. Mm-hmm. To yeah. be honest, like because I think like with this edition though. I mean, there's things I like about it, like the multiple different ways to play and blah, blah, blah. And I understand that, like, in a way, maybe they're leaving, like, the points on a different page so yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, they can yeah. update it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also kind of really annoying to, like, have to flip back and forth. This yeah, is kind of yeah. like what we saw in, like, third edition, fourth yeah. edition. Mm-hmm. Right? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. But, like, I love those cards because, like, yeah, you could just, you could put them in your book. You could do whatever. Mm-hmm. And you just, like, mm-hmm. bam, there they are. Those yeah. are rules. So just bring the cards that you want for yeah. what you're playing. I mean, I know we've kind of, I did that with. Uh, one of my units, like you know, um, I think the, the Scorpius, you know, like, yeah, uh, you know, printed it out so I'd have easy access to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't have to take an entire giant forge roll book for, <laughs> for like one, one yeah. page, yeah. Yeah. yeah, or find it on my phone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is really what I was doing, yeah, because with the because with the 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 easy to assemble uh, Reaver set, like the one that mm-hmm. comes with the three, it came with a pamphlet in it that had. Uh, oh. Assembly instructions and then painting instructions mm-hmm. and rules. then it had like the rules like the okay. like the um, what's it called the data sheet the, that's the, cool. the data, data sheet yeah, yeah yeah it doesn't have the points or anything if you want to do yeah. points but it has the data slate with uh, with power level that's probably the time. same thing yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. What? okay that's so, smart yeah it's pretty cool but Just I mean out of curiosity was uh, your your uh, quick play ones or whatever were those blue as well yes, 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 yes they are. Okay. and actually I like. I, I actually liked having the blue plastic because uh-huh. I like to prime mine gray yeah. and priming gray on gray can sometimes be like, I don't know what my oh, coverage is like right now. Okay. But if you've got blue plastic, it becomes really yeah. easy to see where you see, got the gray if on. If you're a super professional, you prime it black and then prime it gray. gray. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get right on that. <laughs> because then you can I'm, see what you covered with the black and then you can exactly. see what you covered with I'm, the gray. I'm barely <laughs> lucky enough that I've got the patience to put one coat of primer wow. on there. So, <laughs> Although if you're a super professional, you don't put a full layer of uh, primer Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I, just, I didn't realize that until I went to a depth. I was like one of the guys there was like only put enough to where it hits like the contact areas because that was the whole point like you don't need to get like in the recesses and stuff like that and, like, but that's how I paint but I do that all the time <laughs> damn it oh my god really yeah because like, like, like yeah, it fills in details and, like the whole yeah. point was just to like just put enough tack for places where your fingers are going to touch yeah that, that's literally it it's so depressing because I'm like my guys end up like everything we know is like, yeah. oh my god consider my mind completely blown, I know Ted. there's so many times I love that about Adepticon is like everything every time I go down there I like learn something new that like the internet refuses to know is like that and like uh, mold release <laughs> that was like a thing is like what that's not mold release that's just a slippery mold because it's been used so many times what you shouldn't <laughs> wash your you soak your models what I think I still do that. I enjoy I enjoy the soap. It's hard to break out of it. I enjoy like the like general like I've sat like listening to Frank Sinatra like scrubbing glass cannons at yeah. like eleven o'clock. Well, night. they do say to scrub. Like they do say to like give it a quick. Well, scrub, after soak. soaking it oh, for okay. a day, yeah. till the resin is stained purple from the purple power. <laughs> <laughs> I did see somebody that was like that was asking if uh, they knew other people that uh, wash their plastic uh, sprues. That seems a little excessive. Wow, really? I'm trying to keep that. an open mind, but like I'm I'm curious. Yeah. It's like. It's just a, because like, we do this. Let's do this. You know, this. like my like my grandpa used to say, it's like wearing a belt and a set of suspenders. <laughs> Can not? you do it? Yeah. Is there a point to it? No. <laughs> sure. I mean, if I'm spending fifty bucks on ten models or sixty yeah. bucks on three models, then uh-huh. I expect the plastic to be in pretty good condition when I get it. I wish that people who don't tuck their shirts in could wear suspenders and look cool. Yeah. I yeah. often want to wear suspenders, and I'm like, I don't tuck my shirts in. Yeah. You'd have to start. I don't want to start. But just you could put your thumbs in your suspenders and be the coolest kid in the office. <laughs> See? Because I got these like really cool like uh, ha- uh, checkered ones that, uh, yeah, so get all rudy. Yeah, we're going to yeah. uh, pick, 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 pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, two tone. Yeah. <laughs> going to age us again, but it could be like Mork from Mork. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Those stripey pajamas and the, the suspenders going on. Oh, the butt flap? <laughs> oh, hey, cool. Exactly. But uh, First Strike is, yes. I believe, like uh, a really. If you have friends that you want to get into Warhammer, uh-huh. this is kind of like really sneaky backdoor. Yeah, yeah for um, sure. Especially like a butt flap. with uh, <laughs> like, a, like a butt flap, <laughs> like a butt flap with suspenders. Yep. <laughs> but like uh, with with the popularity of kind of board games, especially right now, mm. um, being able to pull something out <laughs> that, that you can <laughs> hey, uh, like a butt flap, <laughs> like a butt flap. <laughs> so so being able to pull out this box and set it up very much like a board game and play it in like twenty thirty minutes. Yeah. 
Um, I think there's a lot of value into that, yeah. mm-hmm. and, you know, and then, you know, you can slowly hook them in, be like, hey, can we play that, the first strike gaming game? It's like, oh, the missions are gone, but I have more models over here, and you just, you're uh, your little uh, neighborhood plastic crack dealer again. Yep. Yeah. Um, so again, it's it's great for hooking new people, and it's great for playing with your kids. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's, what's, what do you think about the, like, replayability of those missions? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to be like jazzed about it, but yeah. it's it's okay. Like, I wouldn't mm-hmm. mind like it. You know, I mean, part of me, you know, part of the reason I enjoyed it was like the hope that my son will become even more nerdy, yeah. and I won't have to worry about grandkids. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> as long as he's on that, that we're fine. There is literally one child in between all of us <laughs> at this table. Because I have two kids. You have one kid yeah. that you know. That's true. Uh, and <laughs> there's serves at the table. Average says every nerd gets a kid. <laughs> Well, shit. I think we need a new sample. <laughs> so you're going to have to go over the chance to go play sports. <laughs> it's the only way. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go pick it up. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's fun. Fun. I mean, the price is good. The price yeah. is right. The price is right. Price. And when the price is right, it's good to go. I, I don't have anything lined up for that. Right. I do have okay. some um, fortune cookie things i came up with actually <laughs> oh oh <laughs> really e- everyone to seamlessly transition into 40k quota fortune cookie Ooh, oh wow yes. oh that sounds like fun yeah. well well hopefully Ooh. it is uh, uh sorry i have if it's not john we're gonna hold you totally responsible I, I, yeah. it's it was it super anyway, okay but... it's super hard because like all the 40k stuff is like heretic burn and i'm like well oh, shit that God. wouldn't be in a fortune that cookie been... actually uh, it, it totally it... would i got that the other day <laughs> that's true so yeah. i do most of my research while I at work do, are you doing the same thing or like where do you get the time for this i, I literally I mean, I thank you for doing it <laughs> i literally have no free time at work when i'm at okay. work i'm like moving 24 7 oh, okay um but okay which is super weird my last job i had all the fucking time it's just like <laughs> nope uh okay uh patience is bitter but it's fruit is sweet would that be a 40k quote or a fortune cookie fortune I, cookie. I, yeah i was gonna say fortune cookie okay yeah it was a fortune cookie oh good um, it, it did say bitter. <laughs> there are no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge. Oh, shit. Fortune cookie. I'm going to go with 40K quote. It was a fortune cookie. Oh. Ah. See, it was too positive. John, are all of these positive. fortune cookies? <laughs> you just go to a website of fortune cookies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, is it, is it? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, Trick exam. A, a mind without purpose will walk in dark places. 40k oh man odds are it's 40k but i'm gonna go with fortune cookie it's 40k <laughs> whoa i think i know that one <laughs> wow that's a game i might actually win Dang it. i am way um, behind at this point jesus uh, darkness is only successful when there is no light don't forget about light 40k 40k don't forget about light uh fortune cookie it is a fortune cookie. Ah. Oh my god, why am I so bad at this? It's it's hope, man. I think like the key is like there's no hope in like the uh in 40k quotes. I shouldn't tell you that. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've found Ted's Ted's secret. It's all salt. Like it's like it can that be taken positively? Okay, fortune cookie. Uh this is this is a bit of a uh added a word here at the start. Here. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> now we're thrown off completely. <laughs> he put the salt in it. Yeah. Uh when you come looking for spirits, all you find is wine. Uh, f- uh, fortune cookie. 40K. It's 40K. Yes! What? Uh, oh, don't technically, it, it says, I come. <laughs> I came here looking for spirits, and all I find is wine. Oh, but if yeah, I use yeah, the, the word just, I, then it's like a oh, giveaway there. Yeah, yeah. What's that from? That is uh, Garvel Loken from, uh, I fuck, one of the first three uh, horse heresy books. Okay. Mm. Oh, so technically it was 30K, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> score. Yeah, score. So all right. We're all winners. No, I Take that half a point at that point. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's that's it. There's, <laughs> so that's there's one more. Uh, however, what is the joy of life? To die knowing our task is done. <laughs> oh, fortune cookie. Fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go to a very dark Chinese place. <laughs> 40K. It's a very dark Korean <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, it's, uh, it was it was forty k. Yeah. But yeah, that, that was that was it. Like nice. I said, was I, I literally found a website that has fortune cookie quotes. Nice. Oh, okay. Like and that. then desperately tried to find forty k quotes. It wasn't blood skulls heresy. <laughs> oh, that's tight. emperor. Nice. Well yeah. done. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was. I was like, there's three that are kind of close. So yeah. Yeah. what yeah. you should have done is you should have looked for. Um, fortune cookies that involved blood and skulls in the oh. emperor. <laughs> I go to a very dark creek. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and John was seen in Hot Topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I um, talk about forty k quotes. I was watching. I was watching. I was reading 
I've been reading the the Caiaphas Cain uh, novels. Oh yeah, I got to read those. Yeah, and it was just funny because you're talking about how it like you know like there's no hope in like you know in the 40k novels, and you read those and like unlike like other 40k novels, the whole point of this one is him saying how. Like he's lucked into his whole oh. like loyal following of the empire. Oh, cool! And it's really, 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 really funny. So, highly recommend to read it. But it was just really funny the way you're saying it. it's like there's no hope, and he's like, he's like, uh, all these things that he does are always like attempts to try to like just save his skin, but that then get confused for him oh. being like a super heroic like oh. <laughs> hero of the empire. <laughs> so, so it's there's, really, really funny. there's faux hope. Yeah, exactly <laughs> the faux hope. Like he's he's like he's he's providing hope to all these people that are like around him but it's mostly out of just like pure <laughs> like self like uh looking out for himself so it's yeah. really 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 funny so but that's us oh so, yeah so short story out. two idea that oh. it kicked up while camping okay which reminds me of okay would be like a commissar going from planet to planet fighting kind of nurgle demons mm-hmm. and you know getting super battle hardened over all the time mm-hmm. and then inquisitor comes along starts fucking with his business Mm-hmm. Until uh, he turns around, Inquisitor gets like all mouthy to the Inquisitor, be uh-huh. like, you know, I've fought in seven planets, and I've voted in, uh, like, oh no, you're the cause, and he's immune to the disease, but he's the one who's spreading it out wherever he goes. <gasps> oh snap! And he gets shot in the face. Of course he does. Forty wow. k. They always do. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. like superheroes. That, like there's no bad guys up until the superhero shows up in town. Then all of a sudden, there's bad guys. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah there's yeah. no super villains unless you have superheroes. Right. Yeah. You got to spread yeah. spread shit around. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I figure it, like Nurgle's got to spread the shit somehow. It's true. Didn't they use Robute for a while mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. to spread to spread the uh, to spread the? And I figure it'll pop and Nurgle get a good old giggle out of the guy trying to stop him being <laughs> the guy who's spreading it around there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good times. Demonic hosting. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was Fortune Cookie or 40K quote. Cool. I like it. I like I it. Don't know how much more I can find for that. <laughs> yeah, if you want to s- pr- DM me on Twitter suggestions of 40K yeah. quotes, I'm pretty set with Fortune Cookie quotes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the actual 40K quotes, I'm like, oh, maybe, God. Maybe if they take uh, dollar bills and fold them into Fortune Cookies and put ideas <laughs> in them and send them to us, we will it, read all It would of be those. like our Pantheon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our Pantheon is, uh, yeah, Patreon. just send us uh, $5 <laughs> with your suggestion and a yeah. separate piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know. Don't write it on the. Yeah. No legal tender guys come on now <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that, that, that was good that so, was good so i guess we're Let's, gonna yeah take a fake break oh that'd be great and come back <laughs> yeah and then yeah age, age of apostles uh, age of apostles which I, I totally didn't forget about so we're good <laughs> did you oh no <gasps> yay i did <laughs> <laughs> man my old lady is so moody right now I hate that time of the month. Not me. I buy generic tampons. They clean up all that gross lady stuff and she's happy because we've saved money. Wow. Generic tampons. I'll have to give those a try. Damn, I can't believe I lost another game. All of my dice are rolling once. Quit the whining, man. You should change your cotton. Another rending hit. Thanks, generic brand tampons. Generic brand tampons. Not just for ladies. For a limited time, send in six applicator sticks for a free dice bag. All right. Are we back from a fake break? Yeah, we're back from a fake break. Hey, uh, so oh, yes, I'm back. Hey, so, welcome back. So, hey. Fake break. hey, so so Ted, I know I did a shitload of research on this, but I don't yeah. want to show you up. Oh, okay. Um, so you want to pretend like you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this phone. It's completely, uh, yeah. Hey, did some audio podcast, Phil. It's not your video <laughs> stuff now. <laughs> so... I think like the nice thing about it is like we've kind of gone over a lot of this stuff in other podcasts. We, we have, yeah, because a lot of it was um, based off of kind of the the Beast Arises stuff. We talked about a lot of it. Then, uh, right? Beast Arises, uh, the Custodes. Uh, we went into the mm-hmm. a little bit in the Custodes, and it just seems like a uh, Gouge Van Dyer shows up a, a little bit in everybody's lore. Love yeah. that name, the Assassins. Yeah, we talked about it a bit, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I actually like in in my research, like I went on YouTube, and, like Age of Apostasies, and there's a Emperor Text to Speech episode based on it. Really? So that's all the research I did. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice. very funny. I enjoy that yeah. show very, very yeah. much. So this next segment is just going to be us watching it funny. and you yeah. guys listening to us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to say anything about it. No commentary. I'm crunching a popcorn. So, yeah. <laughs> so please subscribe to his YouTube channel so uh, <laughs> we don't feel as bad for plagiarizing his shit. <laughs> what we should do, genuinely, yeah. 
is just record us uh, audio of us like a, a commentary track for those things, <laughs> <laughs> which I think would just be oh, an hour of <laughs> yeah. mystery science theater. It? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. For nice. us, it's just us eating popcorn and laughing every so once in a while. <laughs> play this commentary while you're watching this five yeah. minute clip, and it's going to take you more time play. to set it up. Yeah, exactly. Just, we, 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 we might just do that for the Ultra Marine movie <laughs> and put it up there and like, play us at the same time. And, and let's hope we didn't forget that there's a commercial in the middle of it that <laughs> <laughs> fucks it all up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need plumbing. I don't get this. Why do they keep sending me these ones? <laughs> so the age of apostacles. Yes, the apostacles. Uh, Apostrophe. So this started in M thirty six. Let's see 36. what was going on before M thirty six. I think like mm, thirty five, four thousand years prior. We had beast rises. Beast. <sighs> yeah. Right. So we still had. So I think like in a way we had like an era of relative harmony, right? Like after beast. And uh, they take down, or actually during Van Gorich. No, 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 no after Van Gorich. Yeah, but during Van Gorich, there was harmony, um, but with an iron fist. Mm-hmm. But then Gee. after that, there was. <laughs> be kind. Um, but after that, I think it, we do go into turmoil after the. After the Space Marines come. After Stalin. Murder is everyone. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, knock your shit off. <laughs> and like, again. We out again. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> and then everything gets fucked up for a while. So, um, so out of that, uh, we have this. There's kind of like this. this this turbulence. See, um, the, the, uh, nobody quite understands like what to do with a lot of the hierarchy, even though they've had thousands of years to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think I hope by now, after 300 years, our country's kind of figured out kind of how things work, even though we argue about it. Yeah, but have we? you know, for them, it's been like <laughs> 20,000 years yeah. of this uh, arguing. So I, I think they got to speed things up. Um, so the uh, so the ecclesiarchy, of course, is yeah. the the ruler of the imperial cult. Mm-hmm. Um, I think like that that name has always kind of bothered me because like I think like in a religious philosophy a cult is something is is so a religion is when you have something or uh, like a person that comes down with some sort of text they do their thing and they die and it becomes canon and then it's a religion but I think this oh. maybe it's because the emperor never truly died that it's still considered a cult I believe so because he's still the central figure mm-hmm. oh yeah because um, yeah because I guess because yeah because they're still worshiping him and they don't he's not dead right yeah. so you're still worshiping a live figure yeah, but which is for, what a cult is like it's a weird like gray cult space. personality so for all in, us, intent yeah. and purposes to the everyday citizen of the Imperium the emperor is alive and and, and you know mm-hmm. watching over all of yeah. them he's just on a really good diet That's he's just really so chilled and, yeah. and of course like he hates the idea of the cult <laughs> his name anyway yeah and i think like a lot of this we saw like where this all came from um luckily he's been alive for centuries and can do nothing about it <laughs> 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 motherfuckers motherfuckers <laughs> so the the imperial cult started back in like m32 like right around the beast arises era we actually saw mm-hmm. probably prior to like we saw the rise to some in an official uh capacity yeah uh, but it goes back before the heresy mm-hmm. before uh lower gar um i believe i think it goes um so ever since the emperor came along was like oh i'm the emperor motherfucker they're like, like we worship you yeah yeah um and so then like which i mean if you see a giant guy in like golden armor who could like beat everybody up yeah you kind of like kind of makes people want to follow him <laughs> you know <laughs> So, um, so I think like, but I think like Lorgar, maybe I, cu- I couldn't quite figure out like if Lorgar had like an influence on the Imperial cult or not. Mm-hmm. I know he had his own thing, but there was lots of Imperial cults yeah. prior to the Imperial cult, yeah, like yeah, lots yeah. of uh, Emperor worship. So do you guys, I, I, I don't know. It's not I don't know. know he, they had their he, own form of kind of worshiping the Emperor yeah. But yeah. It, it, in, in the, a way that the Emperor was not happy I know they about, weren't kind but, of like <laughs> officially recognized until like the 31st millennium. Uh-huh. Um, like the, the, the guy before... Um, Van, was it Van, Van Dyer, the the ecclesiarch in and Beast Arises? Uh, no, Van no, Dyer no, 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 um, so I don't really know how it started. Yeah. Um, so the official one, I mean, because that's like you know, like what is official, what is not. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. it's like you know, like the the Bible, like how many sects do we have? Yeah, but it's yeah, all yeah. the same fucking thing. Yeah, you know, like uh, oh, you, Catholicism only started at this point. You know, yeah. well, <laughs> um, so I think like <laughs> surprise. <laughs> so we have the, the what the the official one came out of like a sect. 
sect called the Temple of the Savior Emperor. Mm-hmm. Um, and this one was like pre heresy. So yeah. that one came yeah. way. It, but it started like it picked up, picked up steam and it eventually um, couldn't be ignored anymore. And the, uh, um, the, the high lords and everybody else accepted it as like, all right, this is. You know, people were just like grassroots level. Like everybody had their own like emperor worship thing. Yeah, they're like, we gotta do something with this. Okay, fine. You're the ecclesiarchy. You're an official entity. Yeah. yeah. So Come instead on, of a whole bunch of religion. different little pagan cults, you have one Christianity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and they are actually they're they're not part of the Adeptus Terra. So they're like they're they're kind of uh, their, their own, own thing. thing. Even before they left, um, and then uh, yeah, they have like their own seat on the High Lords. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I thought it was kind of interesting because like. I remember like reading up on a um, like superstition and like you know superstition usually comes out of strife right like mm-hmm. I think there was like this thing they were doing a study and like uh, it was this recent like invasion of Iraq is like people started like w- walking into their own homes like left foot forwards because they felt if they put their left foot forward when they walked in the room or into their house their house wouldn't get bombed <laughs> like, oh, okay. so, like the superstition based on like, I mean fifty percent of the time it works every <laughs> <Yeah>. time <laughs> so I mean I think like maybe it's in that like the and the world is so fucked up like they needed something and so like, yeah you know like, yeah, and generally the more fucked up somewhere gets the like you know the more it's like yes please just save me from this bullshit yeah person to stability yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you need something constant and yeah. good and a power over your yeah yeah destiny um so yeah i mean the bureau called skyrockets people believe the ecclesiarchy is speaking for the emperor though the ecclesiarchy never actually says that initially for quite a while They're like no nah, I, 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 we won't say no yeah we speak like <laughs> next to him you know <laughs> yeah, right. we speak about him uh you guys are, are talking to the emperor right uh-huh i mean like you uh-huh. know you know don't we all yeah i mean like we text him every once in a while it's like are you <laughs> saying you're not uh, are you a heretic uh, <laughs> that guy's a heretic over there let's take care of him first <laughs> he has too many questions yeah that guy has lots of questions that's her- that's heresy so um so this started like this started to, uh sky like uh to steamroll and like yeah. people were really buying into it um and with that um the administrator astronom got really jealous because they st- the uh the ecclesiarchy started to get more power than the administratum he's like hey we tax people and make them send us soldiers to die in our wars and you tell them the emperor loves them and everything's okay why are you more popular <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's like your it's idea like, of an emperor is more powerful than our flashlights yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about? hey flashlights can wound anything now <laughs> so, everything wounds everything so the mechanicum is also like dude this is fucked up like yeah. we're, we're not down with this um, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, hey, dude, this is fucked up. Let's go worship our robot god again. Wait, I, I mean, that I mean, that, that I mean, mystical I mean, space dragon I mean, in our boop, planet. Beep boop, beep boop. This is fucked up. <laughs> beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> so, so the uh, they, they kind of band together, um, and from uh, so the DMV and the IRS get together yeah. and decide that they don't like the church. Okay, cool. We're gonna, <laughs> <all right. laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Again, apparently <laughs> this 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 episode is a first strike for our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's entry level. Yeah. People listening is like, I understand that analogy. <laughs> so uh, the uh, unfortunately, due to like a whole bunch of like lame duck like ecclesiarchs, uh, there's like a thousand years where. Um, the ecclesiarchy becomes like really impotent, like mm-hmm. they're just like really having a hard time like pulling it out yeah. or putting it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> so the administratum is able to kind of like jockey things and kind of get power back, yeah. um, by kind of uh, minimizing the amount of tithing and like other things that the ecclesiarch can do. Yeah. Um, it, it and then yeah, and they're kind of like they're content with it. Um, but uh, uh, so I think like after a while, like they're so pissed off at the ecclesiarch, they're like, all right. Um, we're tired of your shit. Like you got to go. And so like the, uh, the ecclesiarch was really, t- um, they, they ran off like they, the ecclesiarchy ran off. They moved to the, um, the shrine world of Ophelia seven. seven. Yeah. Um, which is the wealthy, the third wealthiest planet after Mars and earth. Uh, and also the uh, diocese. It's, it's Terra. Get it right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shared universe, Phil. <laughs> it's fine. So they run off. Um, and they got Guy uh, Benedin Four. I think he's like the he's the ecclesiarch at this point. Yeah. He's like, and this is where I came from. So welcome to my hood, guys. <laughs> it's like the ultimate like slacker. You know, at work is like I won't work from home. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like you're not gonna do anything I'm like no no it's fine it's gonna work from home it's fine hey, uh, hey guys do you want to come over to my place we could just chill you know we, we can hit the uh, emperor pipe yeah, we can. <laughs> cool. i yeah. like to think the positive person in me is thinking that he's like you know my little imperial truth cult is getting corrupted on terra 
I think I'll just move this off planet so you know we, we can keep our own shit chill over here. That's sure. not funny, John. So we're not gonna go with your idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dang, I got all these chicks in the bonds ah, over on the that's way better. <laughs> for for holy reasons. Yeah, for holy reasons. <laughs> for, for holy reasons. <laughs> I, I will I will purge her vagina with my holy semen. <laughs> I guarantee that's a line in some 40k fan fiction somewhere. <laughs> I guarantee. If it wasn't, it will now. <laughs> Celestine and Gullum in the return. <laughs> and she keeps coming back. Yeah. <laughs> so I think like now that they're off uh, off world, they're able to like tithe and do like a lot of the things that like the administratum was kind of like uh hedging um so they're able to like start uh rebuilding their temples and monuments all over the place um and they developed the uh fratris templar so they never really had an army frat house the yeah. frat- <laughs> so See, you these, told like, you John. the keggers yeah <laughs> <laughs> sup man the golden kegs <laughs> so what do you do for the upgrade these days <laughs> I was just expect kind of like your 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 you know the big huge frat boy being like fucking love the emperor whoa <laughs> <laughs> whoa like gold We're stripes on his terror. chest. <laughs> Uh, what's your cult knowledge? I got like a two point five. I can pass. <laughs> get my loans paid. <laughs> so threes get degrees. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so three hundred years later, um, a new guy shows up, uh, Gregor uh, the Eleventh. Yes, uh, came to power and declared that the ecclesiarchy um, goes back to Terra. Uh, he's like, and it's and everybody's like, dude, 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 things are nice. Like, we're actually getting tithes. People are paying us. And yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. We're getting the hoochie or the coochie. We got our pledges yeah. coming in, and we got these new paddles <laughs> with Imperial Eagle speed holes. <laughs> oh, it's great. So, uh, but anyway, everybody's like, no, 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 don't do this. And, but he's determined to. So, uh, within 12 years, they move the Ecclesiarch's headquarters back to Terra. Um, but before this happens, um, uh, he dies of food poisoning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was Damn. poisoned in their mysterious circumstances. Uh, hey, hey, can I move back home with you? Uh, no, no, you can't. Well, yeah. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, drink this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, gonna, it's yeah. probably, probably going to be a long trip. Better, better, better hydrate. bring these, these, these bag of Doritos. Don't worry that they're open. We just tried one. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that it was like the Jim Henson thing. You know, like everything was great. Everything was wonderful. Then he had a bad sandwich and he died because he didn't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Like, fucking I'm retarded. Too Everything I'm was too, going well. I'm too busy packing. I cannot. I cannot go see the medic. Hey, uh, the sandwich isn't that moldy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, so then, yeah, the the overarching ecclesiarchy stretches ties to the limit. Like they are just like uh, reaping it because they were able to build up their base again. They come back. I mean, everybody is just like Woo-hoo, ecclesiarchy, except for yeah. the administratum, of course. Yeah, yeah. and then tying into our last episode, this is when the assassins kind of come back into right. it with Alexis the twenty first. Uh huh. So right, like because they, I think uh, Alexa was it. Um, uh, Alexa starts using the the assassins as well. It, it right? said uh, already here he corrupted members of the assassin. Be like, hey, do you love the emperor? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I have a certain yeah, I was going to say it's a good oh, one. By the way, uh, short, <laughs> I knew it right away. <laughs> uh, short story idea number three: uh, you have a, a meteor land from the sky, which then the local townspeople and everyone in this backwater world, everyone goes and starts worshiping and cleaning and kind of yeah, oh. you will save us from the sky. Yeah, and at the end, it opens up. It's an Everser coffin that kills them all for heresy. Oh, yeah. All right, that's a good short story. Yeah, short yeah, story. yeah, yeah. Thankfully, no one listens to this podcast. <laughs> so I can still submit. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, like I said, the last line is just that the adversary, no, the neuro pistol just opens fire. Oh, I like it. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna see like one download from Nottingham for this uh, for this episode, and they're gonna come out with a uh, a, a small collection of Copyright short stories. Mom rules, 2017. <laughs> I'm gonna see like Andy oh, you said 3017. They're gonna get you. Uh, no, no, I think he means it's just copyrighted for the next thousand years, Phil. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing <laughs> with with. International copyright law <laughs> over an audio recorded yeah. podcast talking about someone else's intellectual yeah. property. Yeah, you know well, we'll, ju- we'll just wait yeah. to see uh, Andy Smiley's uh, tweets and yeah. see if he does it like new assassin story idea. <laughs> you know, if you're a copyright cop, you have to tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Alexis yeah, anyway, moving first. on. Yeah, so Alexis, Alexis is killing people with the assassins. Yes, nice. Like, the assassins, I think like corrupt, they mean ask politely. Because I think assassins are pretty fucking easy. It's true. It doesn't, well, it doesn't I, take I a lot it, to make them want to kill It's us. like talking to the masters. Did you tell me to? Yes. Okay, fine. I have to. It's or did like, you ask me? Because that's different. <laughs> the way I see Alexis 21st kind of reading about him is uh, kind of like Palpatine in the Star Wars uh, uh, movies. Mm-hmm. Or the, the first three. The good ones. 
um, the, the the prequel trilogy. Um, is that he's kind of going up and whispering in people's ears. I mean, mm-hmm. like, you know, oh, this this governor sure is causing us a heck of a lot of trouble. I don't think he'd be super missed. I just don't have the power to send an Avisar assassin master of the Avisar temple. I just wish <laughs> someone did. And then walk away. Like, that, yeah. that's kind of how I see him corrupting oh, them. Is like, I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying, if he was dead, we'd probably have a whole lot less heresy. Just, wow. Just, 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 this, is, this is, okay. Yeah, just this is like, like modern politics. Yeah, yeah, just like at a bar. I didn't tell you to leave the Russian investigation alone. Yeah. Yeah. It would just be nice if it yeah. happened. Just like at a bar, be like, man, this governor is just causing so much heresy. I wish I had the ability to stay and steal him one spot for six months and shoot him from two and a half <laughs> miles away. Uh-huh. While oh, eating bird eggs. While eating bird eggs. Master Vindicator. I mean, wait, I don't wait, know anyone like that. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> no, nope. that, that's idea. not what I'm asking for. No, if no, you no, want to no. do that. Yeah, no, totally, totally. That's what I, do. I, I can totally do that. So what, yeah, are you, what are you doing good. on Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing six months from Thursday? Because <laughs> he's going to be at exactly these coordinates, and I just happen to know that. I love yeah. Robert Eggs. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's how that's I see nice. that kind of corruption going down. Like I said, uh-huh. because assassins are infallible. You can't corrupt them. You know, they only have yeah. the orders to go. But if you kind of corrupt the ordering system by mm-hmm. kind of planting these subtle suggestions, you know, if I told you the tale of, yeah. you know, Primarch Plagueis the Wise. Right. But I think, like, with assassins, too, like, they have to do what they're told. And as long as it's, like, somebody who's, like, I mean, perhaps, like, a high lord. Because I, I think, like, when we covered the assassins, for me, like, one of the things that was kind of murky, and maybe uh, it wasn't murky for you, but it seemed to me, like, the question was, like, you know, at, at what point is it okay to do it and what point is it not? Because it seemed like when we were reading, like, you know, if somebody came and asked an assassin to do something, they they had to do it. But mm-hmm. then there was also, you know, they also said that there was like a process for it. But then I kind of got the impression that if there was a process, there wouldn't be unsanctioned killings. But then I got the impression that there was unsanctioned well, killings. Well, remember, it, it was after this point that the yeah. assassins, they started getting this, okay, we, we fucking need right. a majority of high lords to okay this. Because uh-huh. before this, like well, around this it, time is when they, they sent like 30 adversaries of I, assassins to one planet. I don't think so. I, I, I don't, because I think this is M36 by then. Because I think like, didn't they create the process after M32? No, if, it was it was after M32. Right, right, like right after it. No, because, no, I think it was of way after wasn't it? No, was it wasn't because of Angorge. It because it's because they sent like eighteen Eversor oh. assassins to one planet. Oh, right, right. Okay. So I think this was around the time before they were like super, okay. like okay, guys, we need to control these killing machines that we have here. Huh. I mean, and like the way that the the Imperium uses assassins is kind of nuclear devices, okay. like deterrents and things like that. Um, <laughs> Especially Eversors. Yeah, yeah, but I think this was kind of like back in the day that the, 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 this wasn't the case. Oh, so okay. so he was able to kind of do that there. Yeah. Right. But the next dude, so uh, Goge. Um, okay, well, real quick, was real quick, uh, I, I Paulus just, the third? Oh, Paulus. Uh, yeah. I don't think I wrote. He was completely him. incompetent. He wasn't. Okay. and he was controlled by everyone else. Okay, so right, right in between here, um, I think like because uh, I think that that leads into Goge. Right? It does. It leads directly. Uh, I think Goge actually puts him in command, doesn't he? I, I, I believe it's it's implied that he suddenly puts him in command to be kind of like a yes man. Uh-huh. And then what I find like most interesting, and you're probably going to go into this here, is Goge was actually the master of the administratum. Okay, so yeah, and yeah. You, um, that is so real quick right in between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Alexis um, and starts like ruling with an iron fist. Like this always happens every time there's a fucking ecclesiarch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's in their power. <laughs> like as bad as we thought Van Gorge was, as soon as the religious people, which is a fun like, eternal commentary. <laughs> about, like, How dare you get morals in my board games? <laughs> <laughs> um, so around M36, uh, the planets all fall into a rebellion uh, because like they're tithing like motherfuckers. They just want to keep like increasing, increasing, increasing the ecclesiarchs. Um, like uh, they, they're... Uh, their propaganda, like they're putting monuments everywhere. They're building these massive cathedrals. Hashtag I think they're swole. <laughs> Hashtag swole, swole, swole <laughs> three jewel. I think <laughs> they, they described like the uh, the Ophelia um, shrine, like the main cathedral, as being as covering over ninety thousand square miles and being over four thousand feet tall. Um, so they're just like they're they're just raping Damn. the people for all the money, and the people are getting like really upset at this point, and all these warp storms start coming in. Um, and like a lot of the the areas, the segmentums uh, start to get uh, they, they sort of rebel. Mm-hmm. Um, they're done with that shit, like, and they stop uh, paying. Um, and we also start seeing like chaos, like raiders, like coming in from all the warp storms. Like orcs are having no problem going through and just like taking over areas. Uh, gene stealer cults uh, start springing up. Boom. And- I mean, everybody's like, well, fuck the Emperor. Sure, this forearm thing looks really good. <laughs> uh, the forearm <laughs> Emperor. Yeah. Wait, so it how much do you easy. want from me, forearms? Nothing? <laughs> All right, I'm down. I, I, you know I'm going to eat your planet after this, right? Ah, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> that probably wouldn't happen during my time, right? Yeah. So <laughs> so Goge comes into this in, like, you know, this really dark period. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm, so, I'm imagining 
Doge. So if, Doge. If you don't mind, like, I'm just the, imagine the, like the, the, the meme, like the much, Doge. Much, he, much heresy, such you know, such ecclesiarchy. Such, such, such ecclesiarchy is what I'm imagining. This guy with like a dog head. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like but, it. But go on, Ted. Yes. Ted, you're aware of Doge, right? So, so Doge. No. Okay. Oh, so man. so that 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 is. I'm going to show Ted a picture of a Doge is, now. Is this a 40k? Oh, yeah. So, so, so it's that meme there. Oh my gosh. It's not a 40k. It's just a Doge meme. Necklace, bodiless dog stick. Pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's adorable. And then people kind of. Uh, they they put a poorly written English meme or words over it, oh. uh, so like like that and, and, and Photoshop oh, hand, where it's God. like wow many edits no <laughs> so internet meme much wiki very readers how to article such neutral yeah. wow it's like 1996 yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah pretty much this is like one of the OG <laughs> uh, internet memes yeah um, yeah yeah Doge the, Van Dyer Doge Van Dyer right. Van Dyer let's stick with Doge Van Dyer right? <laughs> oh, I like yeah. it I like it yeah. so, that, that's another shirt right there by the way. <laughs> So uh Doge yes. also um Lord Van Dyer, he's also uh, he was big on using assassins too. Cool. So I think you're right. Much this is probably assassin. before we had the before we had the yeah, 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 yeah. I think this was kind of like right after Van Dyer is when they're like, Okay, probably we can't let people have personal killing <laughs> machine armies. This isn't the greatest idea. <laughs> yeah. Maybe and, we shouldn't hand out assassins like we do Pez. Yeah. <laughs> and you're right. I think like the administratum thing, like his connection to the administratum was also kind of interesting. And like, cause he hated the ecclesiarch as well. Yeah, but and, I think he saw the power yeah. you know, and what he could achieve through that. So he, he got that puppet dude right in, right? Um, mm-hmm. uh, Benedict or Polly, Polly the third. Yeah. So he gets Polly in there and Polly just sucks ass. Like nobody likes him as an ecclesiarch. He's like, you know, he's just horrible. He's yeah. Sorry, uh, I make the best ecclesiarchies. <laughs> Everyone but, loves me. But Doge was like, I mean, that was his intent. He's like, all right, let's get this guy in there. He's going to suck shit. And then we're going to go in there and like save the empire by killing him. What I think was interesting, he was overthrown in a bloodless coup. Okay, how incompetent do you have to be in the <laughs> world and the universe of Warhammer 40,000 yeah. to, to be defeated in anything bloodless? Right. There's, there's literally a stairs. god of blood. Yeah, in this, <laughs> in this world, and they've somehow found a way to get rid of you I without see, any beans. kind of like he was sleeping. Corn, yeah. kind of like peeking over, me like yes, yes, overthrowing, yes, blood, right, yes, <laughs> yes revolt. Aww, well, one yeah, guy, well, no, no skulls for my uh, friend. Yeah, no, no, no blood skulls. for me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> goes back to his uh, skull covered lazy yeah, boy. Exactly. God damn you, Zine! You did yeah. this. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> Watch his reruns of his high lame. school. <laughs> Watch his reruns of his high school football games. <laughs> Corn. So, so Doge takes over the Ecclesiarch nice. himself. Yeah, so now yeah. he's running two wings of the High Lords. Mm-hmm. Yep. That gives him a bit more power. Yeah. And uh, also space to spread out to put his legs up on the other chair. Yeah. <laughs> so he puts his hot pockets on yeah, this side of the table. Hot pockets on this, this, on this chair. Yeah. Now, now he is he is two High Lords. He's a yeah. twofer. Yeah, because yeah, he's the High Lord of the Administratum mm-hmm. and the High Lord of the... Of the ecclesiarchy, and that is a shitload of power for one person to have. Yeah, That's one sixth one of sixth. the power. Sixteen percent. I can math. <laughs> you you, you <laughs> right. math good. I can math good. <laughs> so he then goes. Uh, the, the remaining cardinals feel the pressure. Like holy shit! Like there's a witch hunt. Of course, like nobody else sees it. And the, all the cardinals, um, they hop in a ship and they run back to Ophelia, uh, but they don't make it back. Um, so the warp storm uh, engulfs the ship. And uh, Vandar is quick to be like, yo, see, see the Emperor protects, bitches. <laughs> like, they hated that. I'm, I'm, yeah. I was obviously right. Well, Van, Those guys sucked. Everybody Van knows Dyer it. was the one as well who, who um, got around the rule about the ecclesiarchy not having a, a standing man in an army, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah so, uh, so he, later because on, I think he did like the sisters battle thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because he had the, the, the ecclesiarchy oh, okay. had this well, rule. Could, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. On you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, just real quick. Like, I think oh, we no, should no, talk no. about like who he is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good. Man. Um, but I so think, Cardinals are gone. He's Cardinals, like, Cardinals, Cardinals take off. Totally. Uh, I mean, the leadership of the ecclesiarch is toast. Like, yeah. I mean, in a way, like they kind of, oh, no, it's good. It's just a doge. Well, yeah, exactly. It's perfect. So he's a total megalomaniacal. I think he's like border, like borderline personality disorder too. Yeah. Like one moment he's like, "Hey, what's up?" Next thing he's like trying to kill people. Yeah, <laughs> like just as one switch. does. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, and he has like every single word he utters transcribed for posterity. Like everything is sacred. Um, but then he'll also like fall into these lulls where he's not really saying. He's just kind of like mumbling and everything, or like silent. Um, and you, where he's communing with the emperor, um, I think he just like is narcoleptic. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I think it's a, like he starts like he'll start um, like having he'll start having arguments with himself like out of nowhere. He'll just start like yelling, like having these two way conversations, um, and then or he'll like start screaming um, like non- nonsense. 
Um, so, and a lot of it is like he goes to sleep and he wakes up like nightmares and uh, everything. And he's kind of, I think like some some people were theorizing that like he was actually going through because he loves to come up with like new ways of torturing people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like he spent a lot of fucking time like trying to find like ways of like stripping people's flesh off. Uh-huh. And they were like, maybe like some people were Simple thinking grain, that, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would do it. Hey-o. Hey-o. I understand the reference. <laughs> But some people were thinking like he actually enacts like the torture in his head, like and it's actually like him like screaming as though he were the torture victim. Mm-hmm. So he's like role playing to himself, wow. like he was focused on. I don't so, know. So maybe he Pretty didn't kinky. actually like yeah. take two seats. There was just two different oh goges. There, there was goge. Yeah. And there was doge. goge. Goge and doge. <laughs> doge and doge. Goge and doge. Van Dyer. Each the, of them sat separately on the on the on the counter. The, the super never, Van Dyer bros. Yeah, the Van Dyer bros. <laughs> they never thought it was noteworthy to put this like the fact that he had a dog in yeah. uh, Alexa Canon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Or it's like quaddle. Quaddle. Like he's just got like the, the other head down there. Oh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I am a fucking mark for a total recall. There you go. <laughs> jokes. Oh, I like, love that movie. I haven't seen the new one. Is it good? Uh, it's okay. okay. Not as yeah. good as the old one. It's okay. It has uh, Jessica Biel and okay. Jessica. No, uh, Jessica well, Statham. No, Jessica Biel <laughs> and then the, the chick from the uh, Underworld movies. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Pleather. I don't know no, yeah, yeah, Pleather. Yeah, Pleather chick. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So that, that, that was pretty her good. Name is. It, it wasn't terrible. It was a standard fare, like late two thousands action film. Oh, okay. So, but yeah. So yeah, I imagine not, that you not had as good as Arnold Goge yeah. and then. Quaddle Doge, yeah. who was the, uh, the actually the oh, and the assassin yeah. or was, uh, start was, was the Doge. overthrow. <laughs> <laughs> God, that movie, you know, like some of those nineties movies, like made only had three hands. <laughs> like, some of those quotes, just, yeah, and all those wonderful like, characters of damn shit, that is whack. <laughs> oh, that's right, <laughs> yeah, that cab driver. Yeah, are you going to be our Toby for today? Oh yeah. man, that is Racist whack. Ass Hollywood. <laughs> uh, so Van Dyer's reign lasts for seventy years. Uh, goes for yeah. a bit. It's pretty short. Just, I gotta, I gotta uh, say, it. like we we heard about uh, Van Gorge, and he had centuries to become oh, yeah. an insane old guy. He yeah. had an excuse. <laughs> like yeah. Your body's deteriorating. Your mind is deteriorating on a molecular level. Yeah. But Goge is just a fuck pod from yeah. the beginning, right from the beginning. <laughs> um, so he would also have this thing with like he would like raid worlds. Um, they, I think they talked about one in particular. It was his farming world where he went in. He took like all the girls that were twelve years or younger, uh, turned them like enslaved them. And then um, I think they they shot all the uh, the ice caps on the planet until it melted, and um, I think it flooded the entire world. And they videoed the screaming and the terror and like the people dying on these planets, um, just so that they could take that footage back to Terra and everywhere else and be like, "Look, the Emperor, the, Imp- the Imperium is fucked. We need to act fast." So damn, he'd create the anomalies, and you know, I think there was like this like weird kind of like. Wasn't that like the exact plot to uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, the James Bond movie, oh. where the bad guy created the news stories so his P, like company could yeah. cover the news stories? Yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah, man. No James Bond ripping off 40k. And if only he, <laughs> if only he had worked in a newsroom or in communications, he'd realize that that would never oh, work because oh. there's no fucking money in <laughs> communications. <laughs> oh, the movie makes no sense. Yeah. It's it's it is not a good the best James Bond movie. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Doge. Yeah, so yes. um, so I, I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, Van Dyer took an interest in... Uh, so now he takes an interest in an all-girl uh, sorority party called the Daughters of the Emperor. And this is where uh, uh, you and come yeah, in. And yeah, and this is because the Ecclesiarchy did the... <gasps> okay, we don't want the, Ecclesi- like, the Ecclesiarchy taking over the world. Yeah, uh-huh. you can have your seat <gasps> on the High Lords and all that other kind of stuff. Um, but uh, no man can stand in your army, so you can't march. Because, yeah. I mean, the High Lords know they're super popular with the people. I mean, yeah. hell, they're peddling a super popular message. You know, the Emperor loves you. You just pray to the Emperor. Everything's fine. And everyone yeah. else is like, hey, come get recruited into the Imperial Guard. You'll be dead <laughs> or a sergeant in a day. Um, <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> so, so yeah, the, he was he, <laughs> he did the things like, no man. And then, just <laughs> dude, all I can imagine now is like the really cheesy Hollywood things. Was like, no man can do that. Yes, no man can do that. Ooh, bum, bum, but bum. I am no man. As he looks into the camera. Hmm. Mm. So yeah, he he gets an army of of uh, w- women to, to mm-hmm. as his personal bodyguards called the Daughters of the Emperor. So he so he goes to this planet San Lior. Um, Sounds beautiful. Yeah. It does. It's a nice beach palace. But it has no Leors there. So he, he shows up there with <laughs> sorry. Just Eeyores. Yeah, just Eeyores, Eeyore, no Leors. Oh, oh, <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess it's heresy. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be model into a visitor. <laughs> You're the un- the unforgiving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um so he goes down there. He takes like a thousand uh uh militia. He has a whole bunch of servants. He's uh, basically like lined up all of the citizens of this planet so along the streets. Um, and he's, he gives and anybody who doesn't show up, whether they're sick or they just like don't believe in it or they don't want to do it, he kills them. Um, so as the, one does, mm-hmm. <laughs> if your name is Doge yeah. Vandar, Doge Vandar, <laughs> um, and mm, so, much personality, much personality, <laughs> such so, patience. And, and then he like he has his people like give the people gifts to give to him. So like all these people are like regifting <laughs> like everything. It's like here you go, thanks Here, for coming. Here's the twenty bucks you just gave me. <laughs> so, so the streets are lined with these people, like kind of like with banners and everything else that like goes <laughs> printed out <laughs> uh, all the way to the palace of the sisters or the daughters rather. And uh, the idea was that, like, I mean, he's like this PR uh, mastermind. Yeah, and, I mean, it sounds like it. Because he's just like, you know, he videos the whole thing. It's broadcast everywhere. Mm-hmm. And like, hey, look at everybody loves me. Blah, 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 blah. Even though you'll hate me. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he eventually gets up to the uh, the daughter's uh, palace. And he's like, knock, knock, knock. And a little uh, munchkin with, like, uh, curly hair and a bow tie comes out. Well, who the hell is calling? Um, it wasn't really. It was yeah. Like, yeah, uh, so I, I mean, I mean, imagine there yeah. was. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> it was the Wizard of Oz. Uh, so he's like, uh, th- okay, not he. They were like, well, yeah, we don't recognize you. Your uh, your Imperial cult's full of shit. And like, we have our own thing. Uh, fuck off. Um, and everybody around him was like, oh, oh, did, did wait, not see that coming. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you no. just told Crazy Pants to fuck off? <laughs> the guy who melts ice caps and <laughs> kills everybody but twelve year old girls. Did you see what he did to those ice caps? <laughs> oh, you, um. Oh god! Well, you see how he finally won them over. Yeah, but yeah. He, so so everybody's like afraid, and he like, yeah. but he's like, no, nah, it's cool. And then uh, John, uh, yeah, go and pick up. Yeah, yeah. So so he's like, look, I know you, you you've said you're only cool with the emperor, and you don't think I'm. You know, he's talking to me, and that's fine. Um, but bodyguard, please please shoot me in the heart. No, 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 no. Oh god, no, not and you. And he's like. Uh, you are kind of the ruler of the Imperium right now, sir. I don't really feel comfortable shooting you in the, in the heart. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's cool. And he's like, holds up his Rosarius. It's kind of his badge of office. Uh-huh. And then, so his bodyguard lifts up his little last pistol, which, you know, can wound anything now. Yeah. We, we've discussed in 8th edition. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he shoots, and this just massive arc of light comes off this Rosarius. It just, you know, uh, flashes all over the, the ground. And he makes his four plus save. And he makes his four plus save. Because <laughs> <laughs> while uh, everything can wound anything, nothing can mess with an invulnerable save. Yeah. Um, and then... It's a mortal wound. Yeah, it's not doing a mortal wound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when all of the light kind of flashed away, I don't know, maybe he pressed like kind of the techno button on it, mm-hmm. so more light got added. <laughs> Jesus, it was only <laughs> the last <laughs> <initial>. <laughs> Like, he's standing there still, and like all of the, the all of these chicks from the... the San San Leon San Leon uh-huh. San Leon are, are like Ibiza. are like <laughs> Ibiza are like kneeling down in front of him like oh Jesus okay yeah he can survive being oh, shot Emperor. in the face oh Emperor, oh, Emperor. yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and and then yeah and then they proclaimed their fealty to to Van Dyer mm-hmm. nice. so now he rules the Imperium has control over the administrative building he has control over the church building and, they and he names. has his own. Um, he has his own army now. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so they changed their names from the daughters of the emperor to the brides of uh, the emperor. Brides of the emperor. Okay. Which is some weird cult shit at this point here. Yeah. That you go from you go from oh, daughter to bride of yeah. the same guy. Well, I think the way they described it is like they're not just bodyguards, right? Like they're bodyguards, they're servants. Uh, they they feed him when he's sick. They tend to him. You know, like they they dance, they sing, and perform quote unquote exotic other rituals. Hmm. So, so yeah, I mean, this he, is the guy that was like picking up twelve year old girls. Yeah, uh, he, uh, he, yeah. He, he's making a lot of four up saves because like, hey, I need you to sexually please me, and she's <laughs> like, nah, you're good. <laughs> Bodyguard, please shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Still the emperor every time. Drop to her knees. <laughs> um, so so yeah, he's, he's got his girls. Uh, see, at one point the ecclesiarch tried to assassinate Van Dyer, um, but the bride stepped in. Mm. Uh, they were able to kill them or uh, kill them all. Uh, and they took out. I think they 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 got all the cardinals. I think it was the cardinals were trying to get rid of him. Yeah, because uh, they're like this probably isn't good. So they found some more cardinals. 
So yeah. like first they were like a whole bunch of cardinals are like yeah. we're running away and then they get sucked into the warp and then I they have more cardinals and then these guys are like oh yeah those guys were right this guy's crazy yeah. as shit well uh, he's, he's putting his own like puppet cardinals yeah so it's like and then even they turn on him yeah when your own puppet cardinals turn on you that must that says something <laughs> <laughs> that really says something so the sisters gather them all together like the sisters are great they're like the ultimate like lap dog you're like even when you kick them even when you don't feed them even when you stick them in a uh, closet with stale pancakes and water Oh, I didn't talk about that on the podcast. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a tenant thing. Uh, oh, horrible. <laughs> so, but even when you do that, like they're still like, okay, fine, I'll kill for you. Okay, master, I'll kill. Uh, 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 can I suck your dick now? <laughs> I mean, Awkward. if, if yeah. you take the dick sucking part away, it's kind of like Doug from Up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Little, little, little. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, squirrel. So, I love you, master. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> so, so now all of a sudden, um, I think like people are starting to, there's a, an agent that comes rushing back to the high lord's chamber and like ah, 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 doge oh my god there's this guy sebastian thor ah, 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 he's taking over planets he's his cult is growing uh to be fair sebastian thor is the most romance novel name oh, i have yeah. ever heard slash 80s uh hair metal yeah lead singer oh yeah he has his, his button-up blouse is never Hell, buttoned yeah up, exactly like his fabio hair yeah, there's only ever was... one button on his blouse ever yeah, yeah it's definitely even ruffled. like his group was called the confederation of light which is like an 80s new wave oh, album yeah. yeah totally i could see that yeah it's like the polyphronic spree album yeah i think so. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's definitely in the 80s singing some hair metal so everybody's like notes. really scared because he's taken over like or i'm sorry not taken over but his influence has reached like 80 planets mm-hmm. and like the high lords uh themselves not just like van dyer hears this and he like shuts down he's like uh fuck i mean he's pretty sick at this point um, but he's, and he's like just terrified. Like he hates life. He, he's actually terrified of life at this point. Like he's just regressed. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think like the high Lords and I don't know too much if they've like enjoyed the kind of the, the capital that, uh, Van Dyer has kind of brought, but I think they were just kind of scared of him to be honest, because he was the de facto ruler, you know, uh-huh. holding two of the 12 seats. He had this military force that do and like die for him, kill for oh, him. Yeah. Um, he has all of this kind of like the ability to kind of create crises to, to kind of get the people behind him. I and mean, one would feel kind of like the ability to get rid of any high Lord at any time. And from everything we've read about the high Lords over like 10,000 years, their number one goal is self-preservation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good point. So maybe in a way, like they're really enjoying the, the, yeah, please undertow. don't murder me. You're doing great stuff. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, so, um, so they're they all debate for a long time. Van Dyer isn't as prominent in the debates, but he's still like, I mean, he's the do- the top dog sitting at two uh, chairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> him One and his dog, his him and his quaddle doge. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, um, I think they they send off the. Um, they're like, all right, well, we're gonna send off the uh, the militia. Um, to take back the, some of those planets, and they go there and they find that, like you know, the, the area that they have taken, I think it was called the Clax mm-hmm. uh, Segmentum or something mm-hmm. like that um, system. Um, they go there and they're just getting their asses handed them because I think uh, uh, our Fabio Fabio Thor mm-hmm. is uh, like his he's his influence. Like everybody loves this guy. He's nothing special. Everybody thought he was a demon, but he's not. He's just some dude that's like really charismatic. And people are like, yeah, take my money, take my flowing money. blonde locks, they're open like, shirt. He's so beautiful. Look at those abs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not so chiseled that I feel intimidated. They're just like <laughs> nicely sculpted, just chiseled enough yeah. to yeah. make me want uh, to what, be what, with what, them. What's good, uh, and I don't know if you're into this, is like as um, Thor's stuff is starting to gain steam, and you mm-hmm. know more of the plants he's starting to defeat uh, Ecclesiarch forces, mm-hmm. and that that's when the Space Marines and the Mechanicus are like, oh yeah, oh, all right, I guess we better do something about this now because so the, they've sat on the sidelines. In a way, like the. the it wasn't intentional. Like there was like this, like warp storms were all over the place. Like this is like the yeah. age of the warp storm in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. It's like everybody was kind of like, and it was perfect for, for these little, like these little enclaves to start up. Like space Marines were busy trying to like fend off the forces of chaos and like just kind of protect their people. And yeah. like, so like a lot of the, yeah, like a lot of the space Marines were unaware of like what was going on on Terra, like all the politics, like the, and like the, the Mechanicum uh, were also kind of unaware for the yeah. most part. And then like, yeah, you saw like the warp storms abate, and they're like, whoa, well, what the fuck? Also, a little bit of it is the, the Van Dyer uh, was kind of like got super crazy mad. And mm-hmm. the, the fabricator general was like, yo, um, yeah, I'm not cool with this anymore, guys. We really need to get him out of here. And that's when Van Dyer made the small tactical error of declaring that all of the Adeptus Astartes and all of the Adeptus Mechanicus were heretics and traitors to the oh, Imperium. Yeah. 
maybe not your smartest move. Yeah, yeah. not a not a good call. It's kind of like you know when the schoolyard Billy is like, you're not worth it. I'm I'm over here. Yeah. I'm fine. And then you throw a rock at him. And he's like, <sighs> now it's personal. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> and I think like you know, they uh, a lot of the people realize that at this point, like a lot of them kind of like went along with what he said, but they were like, wait, n- n- that's the dumbest fucking thing ever. No. And so he would like he would kill them off. I think yeah. at this point, didn't he like a ban- like he dismembered like the the high lords he was like all right enough of this bullshit like this is just all my deal um and i think like he sent another big fleet that got caught up in a warp storm called the emperor's wrath mm-hmm. um and at, the emperor's wrath is still around today well, well maybe 2017 but yeah it's it's around now like it's a thing um i can't remember it, it's uh, featured in another uh storyline that's recent i can't remember which one um so it's it's a thing um and uh, and it, yeah, it covered the entire clack system. Um, so anyway, like, but then I think like uh, um, when this like when those people get caught up in that warp storm, uh, everybody's like, oh shit, this is a good sign. Like the exact same thing that Van Dyer pulled, like, oh, warp storm took people. It must be a sign from the Emperor. Sebastian's or uh, um, Fabio was like, oh, they, they got caught up in a warp storm and died. Cool. I guess it's it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> same message different days <laughs> so they they just they fly on um and i think they start going like navigating the warp storms and people are like holy shit a fabio can like weather this shit yeah. he's unaffected by it his ships are doing just fine and uh, uh they start dubbing him the abstracta prominence or master of the warp wow. oh man he's just some dude though. i mean it's no master yeah. of mankind but ah. so is he so did he did he develop like a Geller field, or did he? Just, no, I no. think I think what happened is just it, looking at it from a, a common people's point of view. Is he had the emperor's blessing, and yeah. he was right because he could survive all this crazy shit that's going yeah. on there. Well, yeah, I get that. I get that. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like in real, <laughs> so, yeah, in real, in life, real the emperor's alive. In real I'm so, taking care of him. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, I think like, was it. <gasps> In a way, I think like the warp is like the warp storms. Like this is kind of like you know as, as we discuss things like shit. Uh, like when shit's going down, warp storms show up. <laughs> you know, true. like yeah. and it sometimes it helps mankind, sometimes it helps chaos. And so like maybe that's it. Is like chaos has control of the warp, and so does the emperor. And like yeah, like John's saying is like maybe the emperor did kind of like all right, we'll put this warp storm here, we'll stop Van Dyer. But then on the other hand, like he's all, all these other warp storms are like aiding chaos. Or maybe um, Zinch is just like, I'm bored. Random warp storm here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Random that was a good table. one. Yeah. <laughs> eh, okay. I'll take it away now. But it definitely, <laughs> it definitely seems like when there's strife, like there's warp storms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, maybe it's, whether it's not like the latent psychic abilities of humans creating like this chaos in the ether yeah. or what, I mean, it's it's not coincidental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, what is it? Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, then the space marines came to Terra. Yeah, your boys. Yeah, the Space Marines came, and they were, like, tactically awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> sadly, yeah, it was Imperial Fist, Black Templars, Firehawks, Soul Drinkers. Yeah. A lot of, like, uh, Rogel Dorn successor uh-huh. chapters in there as well. Um, Keep it down the home for it. But they were like, all right, okay, so it's a religious fanatic, so he's going to uh, just have a bunch of shitty cult troops, so let's just go uh-huh. down. You know, jump in the drop pod, boom, bang, boom, new high lords again. I mean, it's only been 4,000 years, but then then we'll be good to go. Yeah. So they, they shoot on down in their drop pods, and they jump out, and they're like, die, shirtless peasants. And, and Mechanicum is like beating the shit out of the temple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, so yeah, yeah. So, so they're, they're selling the Ecclesiarch Temple in Terra. And so they're like, die, shirtless farmers. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of like these shirtless pitchfork farmers are expecting, it's it's like power armored women with ex- very, oh, yeah. very hard and very trained and very good at what they the do. The same gear they have. The same gear they have. But with Tatas. With Tatas. And, and, and six, also... And a 6 plus invulnerable. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> they believe at this point that they aren't protecting Van Dyer. They're protecting the Emperor yeah. himself. Yeah. And Because the, the, the Space Marines... I mean, lap dogs. I, I love the fact it's not really retcon, but it's being established that the Space Marines know the Emperor is not God. You know, yeah. they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they don't worship him. They know the Imperial Truth is somewhat bullshit. Mm-hmm. Well, some of them do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Black so, Templars, not so much. Black <laughs> Templars, yeah, not so much. But so, so, so they know this. They're just like, okay, we gotta go fix humanity again. Yeah. Um, but these sisters of battle, so or the Black or, Templars, are like the Protestants. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the brides that's of why the, they're doing it. The brides of the Emperor are just like, no, we're Catholics. defending the Emperor. No one can get through. So they have this kind of just fervorous devotion to to just making sure nothing gets through at the temple here. Mm. 
Um, and it works. They're doing a really good job. Oh, yeah. They murdered the shit. Well, to be fair, again, the Imperial Fist coming down thinking yeah. of the shirtless farmers. But and, and also, to be fair, it's the Imperial Fist, so they all yeah, have that's to true. die. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't die in this. We can change that. Do you have a pen? <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we, need, we need to alert <laughs> Black all Library the that, there's a, that there's a story I, here with the Imperial Dear, Fist. I, I didn't the, all die. Dear Black Library <laughs> yeah. authors, I noticed there was a story where all the Imperial Fist didn't die. <laughs> and I want to complain about this lack of consistency <laughs> in you, your background yeah, writing. Can you please correct this immediately? Thank you very much. That was a death. Death Watch novel. That had nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, there, there was an Imperial Fist in that novel, and he he didn't die. I, I would like you to to send a corrected copy back to me, please. Thank you very much. Maybe we should just do this. We could like start a Kickstarter to create like a one sheet like uh, addendum to every book, and we'll just go through Barnes and Noble and put yeah. it in every single like. <laughs> yeah. And then he died, <laughs> or it's like at the end. This it's is like, an Age of Sigmar yeah, book. Yeah, Ep- <laughs> epilogue, and all of the Imperial Fist died. <laughs> Finn. <laughs> <laughs> I think the my favorite thing about this is so the Imperial Fists they get themselves caught in another long goddamn siege that oh, they yeah. didn't need to be in because they should have just planned better or realized what they were going into. Um, it was actually they used a hand. Oh, <laughs> poor Rogel. Get it because he doesn't uh, have poor Rogel. One. Hashtag give me my oh, Primark and plastic. I got it. <laughs> Um, it's better once I explain it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's, the, that's the sign of good comedy. What, what finished the the siege the the, the siege on Terra, I guess, part two was Jeff. was Jeff. Yay, Jeff! Jeff. Uh, it's actually. Uh, oh, in fact, no, it doesn't even give him a name. No, it's, it doesn't. Uh, it's Jeff. Jeff. It's Jeff. Jeff. Stop the not? Because he had to earn it. <laughs> Jeff, killer of Doge, uh, the Custodes. So, so, so yeah, the the, the commander of the Custodes, he he searched out the the lead kind of bride of the emperor yeah. and kind of the, the upper emperor command. It was like. What the fuck you doing? I mean, come on. I mean, this is not. I've literally been in the same room as the emperor. This this guy is just insane balls, mm-hmm. and kind of explains how it's supposed to go. Um, and listen, then, in between beach volleyball games, I have conversations with the emperor all the time, and this guy is not the one to be listening <laughs> to. And they're like, we don't believe you. And so after the game of beach volleyball, they're like, okay, we believe you play beach volleyball. <laughs> so you guys are good. It's like, no, let me show you. I'm really good at the serve. <laughs> after that, Jeff takes him to the golden throne. <laughs> like literally, takes him to the golden throne. He's like, there's the fucking emperor. Okay. Uh, uh, no one knows what happened on the inside, yeah. but I can tell you with with one hundred percent backed up fact. It was here's a fucking emperor, and the emperor's like, what "The fuck are you guys doing?" Yeah. With a text to speech device. I was gonna yeah. say. I think what it was is that they that Jeff brought her to the to the emperor's into the you know the throne room there, and then showed on the emperor's cell phone that he didn't have Doge's <laughs> cell phone number. So he's oh. like, "How could he be getting text messages from him yeah. if he doesn't have his number?" Or, or Jeff is like, "Look, yeah. he blocked he blocked it's, Van Dyer on Facebook. Yeah, he blocked so, him on Facebook, so, so he can't get any of these messages." And it's like. <gasps> That liar. Yeah, that that uh that friend request, that's a fake. Yeah. That's a that's a robo. Was, yeah. He denied it. He denied that friend <laughs> request. So then the, the the head of the uh the the brides of the emperor, oh, Alicia Dominic. Yeah. Uh when it was like, okay, fuck, went up to Van Dyer. Uh, walked in on him, not not peeing or anything like that, but, <laughs> but I mean, probably in that. another kind of like insane tirade talking about how okay, all levies are will be cats now. Yeah. And the Imperial Guard must wear only one shoe. And they will be renamed Esther Militarum uh, and the Basilisk. <laughs> all sorts of crazy things. All, all like sorts a, of crazy <laughs> things. It's, it's like a depressing version of like Monty Python. Or something. <laughs> exactly. Some skit had to be made of this, but like really depressing. <laughs> uh, so, so then they're walking up to him. And then Van Dyer, again, mistake, mistake number two here is like, oh, are you brides of the emperor? You are all heretics too. Uh, yeah, please <laughs> get out. Kill yourselves. And they're like, yeah. no, that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get my brides of the emperor to kill the brides of the emperor yeah. if you don't mind one second. And so so then uh, the the Alicia Do- uh-huh. Dominica takes her power sword and and kills Van Dyer. Well, but he does at her. Oh, with the, his final words. Yes, yes you, you, you got it. You got okay. it. You want to do it? I don't have time to die. I'm too busy. Ah, I love that. That's Which my favorite quote? Wait, wait uh, fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Toad. Games Workshop. Was that right? Was that right? Ga- ah. Way to bring that around. Games Workshop, I would literally pay money for a box of GW team fortune cookies. <laughs> oh my god. It would also it would completely destroy my new game, but I'm completely okay with that. <laughs> it would mean oh. I would always win. Yeah. <laughs> um and then uh, ironically the power sword cleaved through him and also his uh 
uh, Rosaris. Ooh. Oh, well. I didn't catch that yeah. part. Yeah, Rosaris, yeah, that's yeah. Good. yeah. And cleaved he through him, showing yeah. that he was no longer protected. Ooh, or he rolled a one. He mainly just up. failed a four up save, which yeah. was a 50 50 shot each yeah. time. He forgot to replace the Duracell. Yeah, the, the fill phase came kind <laughs> across the screen. <laughs> His final word was woo. Womp womp. Losing subscribers. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so then after yeah. Van Dyer. So we got Sebastian Thor. Um, he's exonerated because he was uh, declared a heretic. Well, to be uh, fair, everyone was declared a heretic. Yeah, that's true. Um, so he became the head of the Ecclesiarch. And then went uh, on tour for the, yeah. his world tour, right? Right. For his band. He just played his abs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he would recre- uh, recre- uh, recreate the Ecclesiarch uh, with the new form Sisters of Battle as the militant wing. So they're nice. now the Sisters of Battle. They're like, whoa, let's get rid of that creepy name yeah. where we all have to play that it's weird like, thing yeah. <laughs> in that, like sheer dresses. Listen, ladies, you know, I like you, but I'm not ready to settle down with just one militant arm. So yeah. we're going to get rid of the bride. I'm not, we're not going to be brides, all right? You're just going to be like, we'll just go back to sisters. How does that sound? If, sisters if, of if battle? you played hockey and had a mullet, maybe. I'm into that. Yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? You don't know. You yeah, just, that's cool. Don't just go back yeah. to the sisters. Well, her and the sisters did kind of a, a galaxy-wide tour, kind of touring all the warp storms that popped up during Ooh, this age. I told you. And murdering all the aliens who kind of took advantage of a weakened Imperium. Boom. Suck uh. it, Xenos. <laughs> so then they create the uh, the Holy Synod of Terra. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this was also to create a almost like a democratic uh, check, I think, in the almost like a Senate to the... Um, to the ecclesiarchy, mm-hmm. uh, so now like the the cardinals, I am the senate. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not go on. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, go on. <laughs> so, so that so yeah, the, the synod is now you know so now there's uh, yeah yeah they, they it's, have it's, a discussion. We, there's no more gonna have no more doges. <laughs> no. no more doges. We got that under control. Uh, the assassin wars of vindication ensue. So they started here as it going. as it does. Mm. Uh, <laughs> And uh, springing from the turmoil, the age of the apostasies and reformation, the age of redemption occurred uh, with other strong religious leaders set on mm-hmm. accumulating the empire's lost wealth. Boom. Uh, Space church. Yeah. It just keeps going. It's like every thousand years or so, there's another fucking I mean, religious thing that pops I, I up. I do and, love the theme of kind of like, like it's a, obviously a recurring thing with kind of like the, the Van Gorges and the Van Dyers of, of kind of they were slain by what they created or what mm-hmm. kind of brought them to the party. Like there was Eris yeah. with Van Dyer and kind of um, Beast Cruel with, with Van Gorich. Mm-hmm. Um, and kind of like that kind of circular theme that kind of comes into a lot of these these high politics things. I am kind of sad GW doesn't do more high politic fiction. Yeah. Um, especially kind of with the, like the, the recent, uh, recent, but like the last 20 years with Game of Thrones being like super popular. And that mm-hmm. is all. Game like, of Thrones is like, isn't it 20 years? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. yeah. At the very least, I think. When the books are oh, the books. Oh, yeah, right, the books. Right, yeah, right, yeah the books. Some oh of us God. read Phil. <laughs> um, Readings for nerds. <laughs> is there um, a bolter in there? Yeah, <laughs> but but kind of uh, like reading kind of this back wall, back channel stuff and kind of like these things. It, it's super interesting because uh-huh. to me, that's like the ultimate kind of. Um, read for me because me as a player what i'm doing is i'm moving my small pieces around on the table where i want to go to benefit me mm-hmm. and then that translates to a high lord or a very high up thing with him moving his pieces around yeah. getting what he needs so mm-hmm. i think there's there's like a really good tie-in for that there too yeah. the, the only bad thing is it doesn't really sell many models if it's a high lord politics story and there and yeah. therein lies in the fact, rub it sells mm-hmm. zero models I will say, yeah. slightly off topic, but the Forge World announcement of the Warhammer 40,000 character series line Ooh. has uh, starting with uh, the Blood Raven guy. Uh, Gabriel, no, Gabriel, so I thought it was the yeah. first oh, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But from the video game? That one's kind of weird because he's in like cataphracty armor, isn't he? Yeah, like, he looks like so rad. He, he looks a little, uh, the, the forehead's a little large, but oh, I'm yeah, definitely yeah. going to get it. But, but it was kind of hidden in there in Warhammer community. That this he would be the first in the Warhammer forty thousand character series line, oh. and I adore the the thirty k character series yeah. line. Like I, I've bought ones, I have no intention of ever playing just because they are so well sculpted and beautiful models. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and to know that there's a forty k character line, I mean, am I going to get a, a Van Dyer? I mean, I mean, no, that's thirty six k, but you know, you know what I mean. It's like sure. it kind of opens up that avenue for for these kind of sweet kind of models and, and things like that. Um, I, I love all this junk. I yeah, mean, like yeah, like the like just the inner politics and kind of what 
we all know the galaxy is fucked. We all know it's two minutes to midnight. We we know it's been like that for shit since ever we started playing it. Yeah. Uh, this actually, is, it turns out we were actually five minutes to midnight, but they got the calendar wrong. So now it's back <laughs> to two. Well, minutes. you yeah. say you say two minutes, I say five minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but all of this stuff tells me and fills out the picture of why it's so yeah. fucked up. Yeah. That was one well, of the things I loved most about the the Beast Arises series. Like there was some really great series of like you know bolter porn in there yeah. but the biggest thing was having like a, a better grasp and concept of like the larger view of how the imperium was working and how it mm. was running and what was going on in the you know in the in the universe as it was going through the high lords of terra yeah. to you know the, all the intrigue like you were talking about mm-hmm. i think that was, that was the thing that i most liked about that series was seeing that other aspect that you don't get in a you know in a battle brothers book you know what i mean yeah. so I think like going back to that idea of like the, the go, like the five minutes to midnight or two minutes to midnight. Um, I think like the neat thing about uh, this for me is like it, it kind of like rem- reminds me of uh, you know like uh, well I mean <laughs> Christian like philosophy over the centuries and like every time a century was coming up it was oh no you know like the millennia it's going to be the apocalypse like the apocalypse is almost is always on the doorstep mm-hmm. um, in Christian philosophy and it has always been like if you look in like you know, centuries old um, manuscripts or, dis- or books, like there was a philosophers talking about like, it's coming, it's going to be in the next, in our lifetime. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I don't know anybody who's several hundred years old, so I don't know whose lifetime it's been like waiting for. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think there's like... There's one guy in Tibet. <laughs> he's like 600 years old. They're like, fuck Steve, don't die. Dude, there's like 6 billion people in the world. You don't know one of them isn't 600 years old? No, that's true. <laughs> he's on YouTube complaining yeah. about all of our... <laughs> I'm 600 years old in dog years. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think maybe no. maybe I don't know. seven. Well, they did this like weird thing know. where it's like, what is it like twenty one the first year? Anyway, yeah. so but, <laughs> but but I think like if you go back through these stories, like the Age of Apostasies, Age of Redemption, Age of Strife, Age yeah. of da, 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 um, like each of them had like they were, were super dark periods, like you know with the uh, uh, leading up to the Age of the Apostasies, or, um, you know like we had you know like shit was going on, like it was really yeah. tough, it was really dark. Through this, like all the warp storms came, like this was. For them, it was like the it was two minutes to midnight, and yeah. then you know somebody put new batteries in the clock, and then you know it's two minutes to midnight, and then somebody put you know wound it back, yeah. and, um, and I kind of feel like that's the case. I mean, if you look at like other philosophies, like you know, like I think it's uh, like Islam and Baha'is, like there's the idea that like well, our, uh, apocalypse already happened, and like maybe that's the case in the way for like 40k is like the apocalypse has already happened and it's coming again and it's coming again and it's yeah. coming again. So. Uh, I'll have you know, if I was a dog, my age in human years would be 149. Oh, snap. So you're getting there. So you're not there. 600 yeah. years. Don't stop. No. Don't uh, lie to us, somebody John. else. Maybe your dad. <laughs> Which, <laughs> how old is your dad? <laughs> Thank you to onlineconversion.com's dog year calculator. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think, I think you know, you do see that. Like, you see, like, even going, like, the, the Beast Arises. Like, mm-hmm. it was like, you know, the Imperium nearly collapsed, and then it didn't. You know what I mean? And yeah. then, like, with this, it's like, the Imperium nearly collapsed, and then it didn't. You know? Yeah. And I think that's the that's the the ongoing story of humanity is that oh, they, yeah. keep, they keep building, building, and then it crashes, mm-hmm. and then it build, 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 crash, build, 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 crash, build, build, crash, but never crash so hard that it's ir, you know yeah. that it's never redeemable. Yeah, that's kind of a chicken the egg kind of thing, mm-hmm. isn't it? Or like a, a cause and effect. Like, are we drawn to the uh, the two minutes till midnight story, or do we create the two minutes to midnight story? Do we? I mean, it's such a, a thing in, like, human storytelling. It's, yeah. it's, like, do we absolutely need in our real life, not just, like, in our literary uh, literary life, like, the the uh, a climax? Yeah. Do, do we all need a mm-hmm. climax? I mean, I generally don't. I just kind of squeeze it out and go <laughs> uh, to sleep. But Gross. You know, it's not much of a... Yeah. yeah. But I, I think, it, I, I, you know, and I think, I think in the... I think thinking about the same thing is, like, since the emperor um, was put on the throne, like, yeah. before, you know, since, like, Horus did what he did well um, technically you know, since magnus fucked up he was on the <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs> but but it's like uh you know when you see that that ha- since then like the humanity has 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 never like never recovered since you know what i mean like we keep getting these periods where it looks like we're doing better yeah and then you know and then you get van gorich you know what i mean or then it looks like you're doing better and then you get uh van dyard and then it looks like you're doing <laughs> better tired. yeah then you look like you're doing better and then katie explodes uh-huh. you know what i mean like it's like you know humanity is like still in the process you know what ten thousand years later yeah. of almost still basically still at the start there like mm-hmm. we haven't we haven't come mm-hmm. anywhere 
at all basically since yeah. the emperor was was slain you know what i mean <laughs> so you know i was talking about all this stuff it makes me really interested in seeing a release of um almost like historical mission books yeah, from either GW or Forge World or, or whoever wants that to do it. Not but just like, heresy, but, but but not just heresy, but like even yeah. like if you have one campaign book, which is mm-hmm. Age of Apostles. Oh yeah, that would and, be cool. and you know you have like the 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 mission style and set up the the, the Imperial Armor books have. Yep, um, That'd be really I cool. I would like love to buy like a hey this is you know ideas because to, to me Imperial Fists assaulting against uh, like an Eighth Edition Moralist Sisters of Battle with like a five up and vulnerable and a five up feeling you know, like just yeah. to make them super I think it'd be really cool right, it, would, it would be and super it, yeah, rad yeah. to get in there and, and they <gasps> talk about like they have it and even and in the main book copyright model because <laughs> they even have in the main rule book they talk about like historical narrative games mm-hmm. you know that they and they give like an example of like you know that you can play out like these these battles from history you know what I mean and if you did a yeah. couple of those for those different eras that would be really kind of you'd be really cool with that the triumvirate boxes for that shit so oh. we would see a van dyer we would see a van gorsh we would yeah. see the sod wire hey, there you go Ooh. yeah uh, and this, i think That's it good. would be better served as like a forge world as, as almost a, like an imperial armor oh. style book okay um and just kind of like having I a guess couple they do that. yeah they yeah, do yeah. That. They yeah. dab wars and istvan and yeah yeah, yeah. Not, historical stuff but yeah and, yeah. I, and yeah. I think they're but i think they're also even just the main the main 40k stuff like they're looking at coming out with campaign books like they're yeah. kind of following the same kind of thing that they've done with and asia sigmar with that where they come out with these yeah. campaign books with these different narrative and what better and way stuff. to launch a plastic sisters range oh, Ooh, than yeah. an age of apostles i like it campaign tie book. in that one download from nottingham yeah yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> well, well worth it they're gonna hear well it worth it's totally it. worth yeah. it thanks pete you're <laughs> welcome <laughs> oh well i think i'm good yeah was this good. was yeah this yeah. is real good it was like i said it's it's very refreshing that you know mm-hmm. we, we can talk about just weird stuff from like four thousand years in the past uh-huh. of the future game we play yeah. um but yeah Th- this is gonna turn a new leaf for, yeah this is gonna turn a new leaf for us because uh for the longest time when we said we did something we didn't but we've been talking about doing this episode for a while so yeah and we did it yeah, it's, we it's just like yes. the last episode from beast arises <laughs> we <Yes>. did it <laughs> suck it scrubs finally yeah. talked about the age of apostrophes oh that's great <laughs> and talk about the age of strife no oh, stuff shit. happened <laughs> uh, and there's not much about it yeah we'll i, I, I want to do the uh age of redemption but then i started like looking on it and there's not as much i mean it's, it's yeah. very thin because i think like we talked about that when we talked about the death guard yeah the abyssal crusade mm-hmm. uh, the abyssal crusade itself has a lot more to it than mm-hmm. the age of redemption which came which it came from so you know i'm know. S- i'm super feeling and i don't know what your guys old imperial armor situation is like but i'm really feeling some castrum novo the, the orc imperial armor book okay i have that one i just never knew how to pronounce it so it's like yeah. kark, 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 kark. <laughs> i do not have it yeah yeah well you're not gonna be here anymore so oh. we gotta start planning for the future <laughs> uh, yeah when you move back i feel future <laughs> i think we'll still I'll, I'll call you in and we'll record an update yeah. from the swamp yeah <laughs> from the swamp yeah and i'll add in some very unstereotypical sound effects it'll uh, be fine <laughs> ribbit ribbit <laughs> yeah get off my trailer <laughs> It's not so much Savannah. No, that was like Savannah. What a like a beautiful cultured city. <laughs> That's good. All right, we're gonna take a, a quick last fake break, and then we'll be right back to wrap this up. Do you like cookies, but want something more British? Buy biscuits, not like those you have for gravy. British biscuits for dunking in your British tea. Stiff upper lip guaranteed. Biscuits, as recommended by Queen Liz of the Britons. And we're back, uh, as as noted by my inhaling. Yeah. yeah. Hey, welcome back, inhaling. Hey, it's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm still glad you can breathe. Yeah. Uh, I, plugs. What are we doing? Plug things. Uh, we're kicking Phil off the podcast. You're going to be here for one more. Yes. Right? So, so, so I will be. I will be in Alaska for one more so, podcast. Yeah. So, yeah. so next on the road episode. For the next one. <laughs> yes, I will. I will be <laughs> when you guys are recording the next one. I'll probably be in Canada. So, so it takes a while. You'll yeah. Be like no, you can, to, you, you can get to. You can get to Canada like seven here, hours. I think. I drove, yeah. yeah. When I drove here, really? we yeah. drove from I I just outside the Canadian border. Yeah. like to anchorage in oh, one okay. day so it, it, it's no it's definitely be. one day yeah, yeah. yeah. it was usually in the evening oh yeah. I guess, that's right if we yeah, leave in the morning right. yeah. you'll, you'll be there. there and this definitely won't be the last you hear <clears throat> phil yeah um uh, time difference obviously depending yeah. because you know I have a list of people, people also you may have I've been really eager this. about this yeah you also may have downloaded this 10 years later so in oh, case, yeah. no, I've been gone for a long time <laughs> who's Phil why is he significant yeah <laughs> what's Warhammer who are these guys why did I download this 
Yeah. And, and that's so the story the, of that. Yeah, to the future historians who find this yeah. as the example of what Western civilization was during the <laughs> early 2000s. You are absolutely right. You're Please welcome. research no further. <laughs> no further. No further. We now know everything. We are the, the exemplars of what Western civilization has come to. So, so yeah. There's a time capsule of all of Phil's stuff in a suitcase <laughs> that fell off of his uh, car in yeah. Uh, Yukon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right by Dawson Creek. So, <laughs> exactly. So, so this is a call out to all of our listeners. You've done so well with our hashtag swoles yes. uh, and kind of our interactions there. What do you want us to do to Phil, or what do you want Phil to answer? <laughs> yeah, we gotta do something. Or, special yeah, we gotta do something special one. for his last episode. So let us know what you want to hear. If you want to ask Phil any burning questions, uh, well, but either, not questions about your burning. I don't know the answer. Well, 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 either my answer is you should see a doctor about yeah. that. Uh, we'll either make him answer, or we'll uh, doctor his uh, previous fifty episodes and, um, <laughs> and make it what we want it to be. Um, <laughs> this also, usually means that I have to do work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. John says it. Ted does it. Uh, mob rules. That's the new. Ha- that's the new uh, headline. For John mob says it. Mob Ted rules. rules. <laughs> John says it. Ted does it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's canon. Uh, <laughs> um, so Phil on on YouTube, YouTube slash C slash Glacial Geek. Yes, yeah, check it out. <coughs> two two battle reports a week and uh, deep thoughts thin coats on 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 Wednesdays. Wednesdays on deep thoughts. Wednesdays deep thoughts. Monday Fridays, Monday, Fridays battle roll reports. dice. Yep. PPO plastic yep. models. PPO plastic models. Uh, YouTube dot com slash C slash Mob Rules Media. Uh, yes. For for our content. Yeah. Yes. Um. F- uh, f- uh. The uh, one hour a night uh, Facebook post. If you want to go take a look at yes. Isaac's and my models. And actually, yeah. just join that group. It's super motivational. Yeah. It got me through some hard times. Which you know, well, not real hard times. Yeah. Like first world problem hard times. Of oh, I don't like, know what to paint. I don't know what to do. I need mm. I need the vodka. No, honey, no more vodka. You always beat me when you had the vodkas. <laughs> but I have to have the vodkas. No, go on your one hour a night Facebook group. I don't want one hour. No, I want to paint. But yeah, I'm, thanks for not beating me. I'm gonna get back on that because my painting has slagged off horribly, and I need to get really back on that hardcore. So yeah. I'm gonna use that one hour night group to, to get go. going. Cool. Um, I'm really positive. I really like that. I, yes, I, I appreciate that. And yeah. I appreciate that. Like I put up stuff like, man, this looks like shit. But I said I put up everything. I'm like, oh man, great job. And yeah. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's all I wanted. Is uh-huh. kind of that little push to go. Hey, I know I'm not paint, the best like, in the world. Know, paint on plastic is way better than just gray plastic. You uh-huh. know what I mean? It doesn't matter how, what you know. You don't have to be Duncan Rhodes. You don't need to be yeah. a heavy metal artist. Mm-hmm. You know, just paint at whatever level you're at. And if you keep doing it, you'll get better. And it'll still look better than just the plastic model when you put it together. And then if you, uh, if I ever figure out this goddamn Twitch thing and you guys <laughs> want to come play either Eternal Crusade, Space Marine, yeah. uh, Battlefleet Gothic, other w, <laughs> WWE 40K <laughs> games, just... Yeah. just uh, yes. Let me know in the Twitters. And uh, like I said, I should have that set up soon. Maybe. Sweet. Yeah, keep pushing that YouTube content. Playing the games anyway, might as well get some content out of it, Amen. right? Amen. Yeah, be up. Oh, and uh, go on Twitter, uh, BC4D, and uh, take a look at my underwear. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, it's there. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he there is no straight lines, no brown paint, no brown paint. <laughs> well, that had to be photoshopped. Out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some doctoring included. <laughs> All right. So for Marbles, I've been John. I'm Ted. I'm Phil. I'm and Phil. We'll, we'll see you next time. <laughs> next, I'll be yeah. there next time. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. This episode of Mob Rules has been brought to you by Mob Rules Media. Please join our Facebook group and be part of the conversation at facebook.com forward slash mob rules AK. You can also email us at themob at tophat-arts.com. Thanks for checking us out, and we will see you in two weeks.